definitely waiting till this shit gets up because I don't have time to say this shit more than once. I'm gonna turn this shit. Can you guys hear me? Can you guys hear me? Okay. I'm definitely gonna wait. First off, um, the first thing I want to say on this situation is rest in peace to Jasse. I don't appreciate all the hate mail from you guys because me and Jasse did have a fucking relationship, so the hate mail is really unwanted. <laughs> That's one. Two, um, I really don't appreciate how Pitchfork turned the whole situation into looking like it was me dropping the audio tape. It was definitely not me. I want to tell you guys exactly what happened because the whole situation is definitely misunderstood and I feel like I'm the only one. I mean, I know I'm the only one who like has all this fucking evidence, but there was definitely like fucking five witnesses on this fucking case, excluding Geneva. Well, no, including Geneva and fucking X. So the situation is just like way over our heads. But let's just start to say, um, I really don't appreciate Pitchfork putting the audio out. Pitchfork emailed me, I guess, apparently a couple of times last week, and they were telling me this. I don't want to put the guy's name out. <laughs> I don't want to say his name, right? Yeah, I'm not really saying his name. But he basically DM'd me on fucking Instagram, and he's talking about, oh, hey, Sonny, I emailed you from, I emailed you a long time ago. I've been emailing you this whole time, and I just want to let you know um, we're going to be releasing an audio. That was like two, three days ago, like four days ago, I think. He was like, we're going to be releasing an audio, blase squase. So I'm like, okay, like, this is crazy that it's coming out now. You know what I'm saying? All of a sudden, after this nigga's dead, like, it's just so crazy how you guys are going to drop this now, like type shit but this is what happened um they released the fucking audio just like that i was at work when they did it so when i got off you know i i read the whole shit i obviously know what's in the audio so i didn't even have to listen to it but then dom is live definitely tried to dm me he's talking about oh i want to have a conversation with you and i'm like um i'm like bro <laughs> If you're not talking about money, I'm not talking. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm definitely not trying to keep talking about the situation. It's a terrible situation because this shit really fucking happened. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's just, it's nothing to talk about every fucking day. You guys don't understand the situation. Like, <laughs> this shit, <laughs> no, it's nothing, it's not, it's, just, it's not a fucking joke for you. Like, it's nothing to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really don't appreciate the fucking hate mail. I don't appreciate how everybody's trying to make a big situation out of me selling a fucking audio tape when I did not, in fact, sell any fucking audio tape. I, in fact, didn't get any money from any fucking audio tape because I did not, in fact, do that. If I don't have time to explain that shit because it doesn't make any sense for me to, to do that to somebody that I once claimed a friend to me. You know what I'm saying? Like... That a person that I fed, that lived in my house, you know what I'm saying? A person that I gave clothes, I gave everything to. Like, why Why would I do something like that after somebody's dead? You know what I'm saying? Like, so, I just, I really don't appreciate the hate mail with all the fans and shit like that. All his supporters and everything like that. Because at the end of the day, like, me and Jasse definitely had a friendship. Like, somewhat of a fucking friendship. Like, I respected him, we respected each other. So, at the end of the day, like, we deadass couldn't, like... I wouldn't do some, some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just don't appreciate no shit like that. But I'm going to fast forward. Anyways, with Dom is live, I really don't appreciate how he sent all his fans to come at me talking about, oh, send her whatever because she doesn't want to talk to me about money. Listen, nigga, like, if it ain't about the money, I don't want to talk. Period. I don't want to talk to you. Like, I don't want to talk to anybody about 
anything if it's not about no fucking money. Bruh, especially with anything they gotta do with that nigga, bruh. Like, do not fucking talk to me, bruh. So anyways, I'm gonna just let y'all know. Because I'm, I'm really tired of this shit. Like, it's on my heart. It's on my mental. I'm tired of everybody telling me not to say shit. I'm tired of everybody, you know, just... No, I'm gonna I'm say it. I'm, I have to. I have to tell them. Like, fuck that. I'm sorry, guys. Let's see to my boyfriend. <laughs> but on some real shit, bro, like... Like, check. That's on my heart. <laughs> I have to. It's just, it's crazy because this is... Fuck it. Anyways, whatever. Fuck it. Um, Jose came to live with me. And, like, what was it? Like, June, July. Like, June. June. I want to say the end of June in 2016. Wait, June, July, August. Nah, he can't. Nah, yeah, okay. He came to stay with me in fucking July, bruh. He came to stay with me in July of 2016. And nigga, obviously... He had got out of jail. I was staying with somebody. I was actually, um, I was dating somebody, like talking to somebody and members only more so. And dead ass, like, they were like, yo, Sonny, like, you know, we want to, can Jossie come stay with you? I had a fucking apartment in 109 Tower in Miami. So I had a roommate that I used to work with. And she didn't know that I was, like, you know, kind of a big deal down in South Florida. <laughs> you know, not much, but I'm working my way up. So she was like, yo, Sonny, you know, you're a DJ. You know, well, I wasn't even a DJ at the time. But she was like, yo, Sonny, you know, like, you be always on the ox court. You be doing the mixes, da, 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 and that. This is before Jose came to stay with me, y'all. And she was like, um, she was like, yo, like, just, just, she was pretty hype. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give it to my roommate. She was pretty hype at the time. So we were just, we was mad, mad cool. So she knew I knew Jose from playing his songs and stuff. And I'm like, yo, like, like, you're going to meet him. She's like, oh, I always wanted to meet him. She's like, yo, you chill with these niggas all day. I'm like, yeah, I'll talk to somebody in there in a click or whatever. She's like, so I want to meet them. So eventually, bro, like, you know, me and Court, oh, damn, me and my fucking roommate, <laughs> moved to Miami because I used to live in Broward and she didn't really, you know, have a home or so. So we moved together. And um, we had our own apartment and fucking literally, like, we were just living a good-ass life, chilling in 109 Tower. I don't know if y'all have any FIU students on here or that's going to view this video, but anybody that know 109 Tower, y'all already know how that shit is. So we were living on the 12th floor. Shout out to 109 Tower because it was beautiful living there. Like, I love the whole experience. Um, but, yeah, like, life was great, more so. So, me and my roommate living up there, I was talking to my dude at the time, and he was fucking with them. He knew Jase was getting out of jail. And me and Jase, more so, didn't really have a close relationship at the time. Like, we, we never had a close relationship. I can't even say at the time, because, like, on, on God, bro, like, we never had, like, a super-duper fucking friendship. Like, he never... I never had to call him up, had his number, like, yo, I'm about to call Jase and we about to go hang out, go to Chipotle and eat. Like, it was never like that. You know what I'm saying? Before, more so, like, him coming to stay with me. Like, it was never like that. So, anyways, the nigga that I was staying with, or the nigga that I was talking to, he was like, yo, you got a room. Jase need a room. He's, like, banned from Broward because he got into, you know, some shit. Apparently, he couldn't stay anywhere in Broward, so he had to come stay in Miami. So, I'm like... That's that's weird, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, that's mad fishy because, like, you got mad, you have mad, like, fans. You know what I'm saying? You have mad friends, you got family. Like, how, like, how you how you want to come stay with me all of a sudden? It just, it don't make sense. So, you know, my nigga was just telling me, he was like, bro, Sonny, you got to trust me on this, like, did it this and that. And I even have receipts of Jose even trying to, trying to come stay with me. Like, he did me on Twitter, he's like, yo... Um, your homeboy, you know, my homeboy, the guy I was talking to, he was like, he said, you got a room for me. And I was like, I was like, yeah, I got a room for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, eventually, I didn't reply to him right away, but I told him I had a room for him. So, that ass, like, I talked to my homegirl about it. I talked to my roommate because I used to chill with Jose a couple of times before. Like I said, not a lot, but it was times here and there where we did chill. And during those times, like, I'm not going to lie, it was it was cool being around him, but... 
he wasn't the most pleasant person to be around all the time because he was kind of violent. Like he would, I don't know if y'all remember his, his ex-girlfriend. I think I want to say it was Cynthia. I'm not sure. I think that's the name. I'm not sure. I, I'm pretty sure he was on the phone with her and he was like mad violent. He was like, yo, I'm in the, I'm in the car with some hoes right now. Da, da, da. And I was in the car and that was like one of my first times chilling with him. He was like, no, not you, Sonny. You're like my mom. And I was like, bro, like, just chill, but he was like mad, mad violent with her, and that was like my first time really experiencing like, you know, somebody talk to their girl like that, so I was like, I was like, damn, like, I'ma just chill though, you know what I'm saying, this ain't my fucking business, so anyways, like, when, when he came, when he wanted to come stay with me, and Courtney, oh, fuck, that's her name, my fucking roommate, I don't know, if she, she know about this y'all, so, oh, well, I'ma just say this shit, cause it is what it is, I ain't got time for this shit, fucking roommates, I really don't have time. My fucking roommate, Courtney, her ass was like, yo, like, Sonny, it's gonna be lit if you come stay with us. We, Because me and Courtney were trying to start our own business. So she was like, yo, like, we can get our shit popping. I'm like, you know what? That's a good idea. Like, we kind of can't. I was like, but then again, Courtney, like, I don't really know how this situation gonna boil down because, you know, this this shit, this is crazy. <laughs> I'm like, bruh, like, uh, this nigga not, you know, like, I don't, I don't know if he's the safest person to have in our house. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is our temple. This is our house, bro. Like, this is this is our circle. I was like, so I don't really know about him coming to live with us. I was like, but if he do, it would have to be for, like, you know, a little amount of time. Like, it can't be for an extended period of time because, first of all, we're on a college dorm. Like, 109 Tower is off campus. It's, like, off camp, like, student, off housing, whatever, campus shit. So, like, like, you can't really stay on that shit. You know what I'm saying? And plus, obviously, he had just got out of jail. So this nigga was on house arrest. So he had to get his he had to get his like his situation situated at my address. You know what I'm saying? That has to be registered with the courts and all of that. So I'm like I'm like, yo, I really don't want, you know, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Like I do my thing. I'm like, I don't want nobody coming up in my house. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want the police here. I just I don't want that. So anyways, like I don't know, his friends can more so egged it on, and I'm kind of a pushover. Sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not, but I felt like in that situation, I kind of had to let him come stay with me because he didn't have nowhere else to go. But then he told me it was him and his girl, and I was like, why you and your girl can't go nowhere else? He was like, ain't nobody want to tell me, like, why they couldn't go to nobody else's house. Like, they was staying with somebody in North Miami previously before coming to my house in 109 Tower, which is in, like, fucking Doral. And these niggas, like, they couldn't stay there. So they had to come stay with me. And that was in Miami. So I was like, why y'all got to jump house to house? You know what I'm saying? Like, this, this, this don't, you know what I'm saying? This don't, this don't add up or whatever, bruh. So anyways, I let him come stay with me, bruh. I, I got over it. I let him come stay with me. I told him to come stay with me, bruh. Um, after he came, it was like the first day. Literally, like, I came, I went to get them, he came, he was downstairs, he had his ankle monitor on, the police didn't come, thank God, I was so nervous, but <laughs> they didn't come, thank God, and I bought him upstairs, I bought him in Geneva upstairs, and, you know, they walked in the crib, she was chilling, I had everything planned out for them, like, they had the room, niggas had whatever they needed, you know what I'm saying, so it was just, like, open crib for everybody, like, my house was chilling. Like, niggas know. I have videos. I have receipts of everything, you guys. So, people can't try to play me and be like, oh, this shit didn't happen and none of that. Because at the end of the day, everybody knows that this shit happened. Like, all the members know that it definitely happened. His, everybody knows. <laughs> like, the fans don't believe it because it was never proved in court because he died. And that's a terrible situation. But he, if he was alive, I'm not going to lie, bro. They was going to hit his ass with this shit in court. And... It's a terrible thing that he died because, like, he can't even, you know, like like y'all said, and, like, I'm going to say now, he can't defend himself because he's not alive right now. But either way, Geneva knows the truth. She did. She did, in fact, get her ass whooped, bro. Like, she got beat the fuck up, bro. Like, I was there. Like, <clears throat> I saw that shit with my own fucking eyes. I walked in on her ass. Me, Courtney, and his manager at the time walked in on his ass on on both of them and we saw that shit but anyways i'm gonna continue so i'm going through with the story um they lived with me the first two days the first day they was there more so like 
I'm, you know, I grew up. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about myself. It's really nerve wracking to tell you this story. That's why I'm kind of cracking and shaking. It's exclusive. a lot. Like I've never told anybody. I've never told live. Obviously, the whole fucking story. So hello, but bear with me. Um, I, I grew up like you know, mass spiritual. I grew up Catholic. Then you know, my my mom is Christian. So I grew up Christian. So I'm mass spiritual. Like I'm, I'm good with God. Like I talk to God every day. I pray every day. Like I'm good. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, like, I feel like I'm a messenger. Like, God definitely put me on this earth for a reason. And I definitely have a reason to be here. And I feel, I, I can feel, like, a energy on people. You know what I'm saying? Anything like that. So, when him and Geneva came to my house, like, I, I immediately already felt that. And I had told my roommate, Courtney, I was like, yo, like, I don't really feel, I don't really feel too good about them being here right now. I was like, but... They're here, and we just gonna have to bear with it. I was like, but if some shit go down, you you know, like, you fucking know. I was like, you know, like, you have to be, like, you gotta be ready. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know with these niggas. Like, you never know. Like, I don't know why they bouncing house to house, why they can't stay in the other house. I asked X, he was like, oh, um, he didn't really have a reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, he never talked about his personal life with me more so because... He was just that person. Like, he never opened up. So, and I respected that. I'm not going to try to get it out of people. So, I was like, fuck it. Mm. So, anyways, um, you know, like, I felt the energy off of them. It wasn't too much of a good energy. But I let I let my peace be gone with it. I was like, fuck it. The second day, um, I remember it was early. No, nah, I'm going to go back to the first day. The first day, later on in the day, because they got to my house. They got to my house kind of, like, it was it was daytime outside. I remember it was daytime. But I don't remember exactly what time. I want to say maybe, like, 3 o'clock. Maybe 3, 4 o'clock. I got to my house around that time. Of course, I'm making dinner type shit or whatever. So, I'm chilling, you know? So, dead ass, like, um, I let these niggas up there. It's later on that day. This is the first day they stand with me. And he had his hand, his hand, like, pressing on her knee, y'all. Like, he was, like, pressing his fucking hand on her on her leg. Like, he was, like, holding her, like, gripping her thigh, but, like, really gripping it. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm, like, I was just looking, but I ain't, I ain't you know, I ain't say shit because I'm chilling. Like, I'm just, I'm preying what's going on. I just want everybody to be cool, but, you know, I got to make sure my house a one. So, I'm chilling. Can you come back? Can you come back and massage? Because that was great. Please. But no, dead ass. So I'm chilling. So, um, literally, like, I, I look at her and I, I just, she had shorts on. She had, I forgot, she had a hoodie on and she had some fucking jean shorts on. And she, like, her legs were kind of bruised up. But I, I ain't want to say nothing to her because I didn't know Geneva at the time, bro. Like, she was just a stranger. She was his girlfriend. So I wanted him to be comfortable in my house because I knew him. I didn't know her. And I was like, that's why I really didn't want them to stay with me because I was like, bro, like, what the fuck? But anyways, this bitch, I ain't gonna say that. Geneva fucking, like, that ass had mad bruises on her legs. And I was just like, yo, like, what the fuck? Like, damn, Neva, like, fuck going on. I ain't say shit, though. I ain't say shit to them. I just let it be gone. The next day, I swear on my mama, I wake up, I go to the gym. My homegirl, Courtney, she was enrolled at FIU at the time, so she had classes. She went to her class, and one thing I can't, like, I'm not gonna lie, I have to tell y'all this, I remember everything like a fucking book, so, dead ass, like, I remember this shit like it was yesterday, that's why I'm I'm speaking out the dome, this shit is just flowing off, because this shit is, this shit fucking happened, it's fucking real. Anyways, Courtney had class, um, at 109 Tower on fucking the second or third floor, there was a gym, so I went to the gym, and I'm chilling. Um, literally, I left X and Geneva up there. I was like, you know, y'all can stay up here. Y'all can do whatever. You know, they grown, so I left them, you know, to do whatever. I was like, y'all could, you know, make noise. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Do what you want to do. This is your house. Your house is my house. So I left them up there, bro. I'm chilling on my mom. It was raining so hard. I swear to God. Courtney came back, and she FaceTimed me. She was like, yo, ca uh, class is canceled. She was like, the professor not there, I don't have to go today. I was like, where? She was like, come back upstairs. So I was like, give me a second, I'm about to work out. She's like, all right. So literally, I ain't even, I used to, I used to like work out a lot. I placed my little water bottle down, bro. I ain't even get on a treadmill yet, y'all. I swear. 
fucking Courtney called me back. She talking about, yo, Geneva talking, um, Geneva said X been hitting her. And I was like, what? I was like, what you mean? And she was like, yo, like, I was like, right now? Like, he's hitting her right now? She's like, no, she in the room, but they got, you know, they've been getting into it, and she, she wanted to leave. I was like, okay. She's like, she wants you to come up. She want to talk to you. I was like, all right, I'm coming up. Fuck it. Like, I can't even work out, but I got to go up. So I go up, and literally, bro, like, um, she's in a room. X is on the balcony on the phone with whoever, and I'm like, I'm like, yo, y'all, y'all was fighting up here? She was like, nah, not today, but... You know, we're arguing, and I was like, he's hit you? She was like, yeah, he's hit me before. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, where do you want to go? And she was like, I don't really have family here. And I was like, damn, you don't got no friends? And she was like, no, nah, I really don't. And I'm like, what do you mean, bro? Like, <laughs> where are you going to stay? Like, if you go somewhere, I was like, if you go somewhere, where are you going to stay? You know what I'm saying? So she was like, she was like, yo, like, I, I can go anywhere. I can go to the, the homeless shelter or something. I'm like, no, they got bed bugs. You know what I'm saying? I used to, I did Miss America at one point in my life, and I did a lot of volunteer work, so I went to those places and tried to, you know, I gave back for my community. And I've seen places like that, and I've tried to help, you know, those families clean up their situations. And, you know, it's just, it's bad, because, like, they're infested with bugs and roaches and all types of stuff. So I was like, no, I don't want you to go there. I was like, but... You know, you can't, y'all can't be in my house beating on each other. I was like, he can't be hitting you in my house. I was like, so what you gonna do? So she was like, I got a friend. I got a friend. I was like, okay, like, call up your homegirl. So she called up her homegirl. Her homegirl didn't really answer the phone. I think she was at work that day. And that was it. Like, that was it for that day. This is the second day. Like, this story is really long, so <laughs> bear with me. This is the second day. So... She called the homegirl. I guess the homegirl didn't answer that day. The next day, the homegirl called and fought through. Um, I think me me and Courtney eventually, like, because my mom lives in Broward, obviously. So I'm from Broward, you guys. So I drive up to Broward to see my mom, and, you know, do my thing, see my friends, and go back down to Miami. And literally, like, bruh, like, um, oh, damn, I'm trying to remember it. <laughs> Shit, guys. Um, I see, I see a homeboy in Broward. He's like, yo, I be seeing you and Courtney slide from FIU to this house all the time, you know, to where I'm at with my friends. And I'm like, cause my, my, my boyfriend was there at the time. I was like, bro, what you mean? And he was like, yo, like you fine or whatever. I'm trying to get your number. I was like, bro, what you mean? You be seeing me slide from, you know, Homestead to, to Broward. That don't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you following me, you watching me. He was like, nah, I just be seeing your car cause I be going down that way too. And he was like, I always see you over here. And I'm like, okay, that don't really make sense, but okay. You know what I'm saying? But whatever. He was like, but he was like, where you just came out of? I'm like, this house. He's like, oh, my cousin live in that house. I'm like, okay. I was like, who you know in this house? He was like, you date so-and-so? I'm like, yeah. He was like, oh, I ain't know you and so-and-so. Girl, he was like, so um, I ain't going to even fuck with you like that. He was like, but take my number because, you know, I got something for you. And I'm like, all right, straight. So I take his number. You know what I'm saying? We big ch Well, I take his Snapchat, actually. I ain't even take his number. I took a Snapchat. We was big chilling. So I drive off. I go back to Miami. I'm big chilling. Um, literally, I get there. Ex and Geneva chilling. You know, we get there. This is the third day. We get there. We big chilling. Bro. Oh, my God. Hold on. I gotta give some more, y'all. I get there. It's like... That was like 3, 4 o'clock in the day. <clears throat> so we get there. It's like 6. Me and Courtney about to cook. You know what I'm saying? I'm kind of bored. So I'm like, I, I hear people up on Snapchat. I'm like, yo, come over. Who want to vibe with me? Da, da, da. Somebody's like, yo, me. I'm like, all right. Because, you know, I ain't wanted to just to be me, Courtney, and Geneva, and X there by ourselves. It was only us at the time. It was only us four. So he was the only guy. And I didn't like, like, I didn't like that. I was like, damn, like, you need your homeboys around you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't. I hated that situation, the fact that he was, like, a nigga by himself. So, I called my homeboy over, and we came, he came over, and he, like, he just slid. He slid from fucking Broward to Miami. So, this nigga called me, and if y'all know, like I said, FIU, FIU, um, like, parking garage by 109 Tower, it's across the street. And that big-ass street is where that bridge had just collapsed and killed all those people down there in fucking, like, Sweetwater. That big ass street right there is where I had to cross like every day. Like I couldn't park under the building because your car would get towed or anything like that. 
and you can't park in the community because people live there. So you have to park in FIU fucking garage. So that's what I did every day. So anyways, my homeboy came and he had to park in that parking garage. So I went downstairs. Now, y'all, y'all peep this. X only knew me in Geneva. He didn't know Courtney like that. Geneva didn't know Courtney like that, but because they were living with us, we all had to basically get to know each other. But they didn't. I'm I'm sure X didn't tell you know Geneva. I mean yeah Geneva about Courtney because he didn't know Courtney. He only knew me. So I go to get my friend from the parking garage. This is like a fucking five to ten minute walk. Excuse me. And I get a phone call from Courtney. I'm in a parking garage with him, and she's like, "Yo, X is beating Geneva in a room right now." And I'm like, "What? What you mean?" So I'm like, bruh, like, what what the fuck? Like, like I'm telling this nigga, I'm like, yo, I have, like, kids in, in my house that are, like, you know, kind of beating on each other. I was like, I have a really rough situation going on right now. I was like, and I need to get over there as quick as possible. I was like, so can you come? So he was like, yeah, let's go. So I was, like, running over there, literally trying to get across this big-ass street, trying to get down the stairs, trying to get across the street, get up the stairs to get to the 12th floor. So I get up there. They have the other room. It's two room. It's, like... At 109 Tower has like a four room layout or a two room layout and we have the two room layout. So me and Courtney had the room and then they had the other room. So literally y'all, uh, that room door was locked. Me and Courtney's key opened the other room door key. So we opened, we literally opened the, the door. I was like, like the door was locked. I was like, X, open the door. And he was like, no, like, nah, bro, I'm good, bro. I was like, bro. Open the door, bro. Like, anyone that has to show him that, you know, I could open this damn door with because he ain't know that. But I was like, bro, like, open the door. Like, I don't know what you're doing in there, but open the fucking door when I got up there. You know what I'm saying? So, this nigga, he opened the door. He opened the door. Geneva came out. Geneva was crying. She got on the floor. She was like, she was like so scared, dog. She was fucking crying. She was like, Sonny, call the police. Like, I want to go, I want to go now, I want to leave now. I was like, bro, what the fuck is this? I was like, literally, like, I just, like, you just told me you want to leave. I was like, you told me to call your homegirl. You said your homegirl was going to come. You know what I'm saying? Like, what what the fuck is this? So she was like, X was like, bro, like, she's straight, bro. Like, it's just, bro, she's straight. You know what I'm saying? Just dead ass. Like, she's straight, she's straight. I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Like, what you mean she's straight? I was like, you, you, she crying. Like, this bitch looking at me crazy. Like, how, how she's straight? You know what I'm saying? It don't make no sense. What? So dead ass, bro. Like he like, bro. Like Sunny, bro. Like, like, oh, I swear, bro. This shit is so crazy, bro. He's like Sunny. Like bro, I forgot what this nigga said. Cause this shit is so vague. Like this shit happened dead ass two years ago. <laughs> he just telling me like let like you know just just let me do my thing, bro. Like I could I could talk to her, bro. Let me let let me talk to her in private, bro. I want to talk to her. And I'm like nah, bro. Y'all can't be talking because every time y'all talking, I close this door. You beating on her. Or every time I leave the house, it's like Courtney calling me and she's telling me you beating on her. So I don't understand. I don't understand the situation. Like, I, I can't. I can't. You know what I'm saying? I can't. Bruh, no. So he, I end up going in the room talking to them. My homeboy is on my couch with my homegirl and they talking. So I'm like, okay, it's lit. Like, but let me talk to these niggas in here so we can all come out and talk. You know what I'm, if y'all feel me, if y'all really feel me, you know what I'm saying, bro. Like, I can't, like, I can't say exactly what I want to say because I got an image for myself too. You know what I'm saying? I'm a black female out here. So at the same time, look, feel me. I go in that room and I, on my mama, bro, I talked to Geneva and X for two, two hours, bro. Two hours on my mama. We talking about we talking about all type of spiritual shit. We talking about fucking dreams. I told y'all I'm a messenger. So literally, I could tell y'all the day before that. Literally, my si no that same night. I'm not gonna even say the day before that because it wasn't. I'd be lying. That same fucking night, my sister called me, bro. My sister called me and she's like, Amber, bro. I'm about to cry because this shit is too crazy for me. No stop. She's like, Amber. She's like, Amber. No, fuck it. I'm straight, I'm straight, fuck it. I don't care, because it is what it is, bro. She's like, Amber. She's like, Amber. Um, she's like, I had a dream about a snake in the door. And I was like, I was like, tell me about it. And she was like, she's like, I had a dream about a snake in the door, Amber. She's like, it's a warning dream. And mommy told me it's not good. You got somebody around you that's not good. And I was like, I was like, yo, like, 
I had the same dream, you know what I'm saying? I was like, you know, things come in threes. I know that life comes in threes and death comes in threes. So I know that anything more so comes in a dream. A message, that warning came in a dream. So I knew that somebody else would have the same dream. So more so it happened that when I was talking to X in Geneva, it just so happened that Geneva mentioned that she had a dream about a fucking snake in the door. And she was living in some house with X and some crazy shit happened, I forgot. It was more so so vaguely, but that ass she had she had that, that warning dream in there. And then that's when X told me, that ass told me this nigga sold his soul to the devil. He told me, he was like, yo, Sonny, I saw the fucking devil in jail. He's like, I saw him. He looked, he had half my face and the other half was black. And I was like, yo, like, that's an energy. I was like, that's a spirit that you need to get off your chest. I was like, you need to get that off of you because it's following you. I was like, and it's holding you down. I was like, y'all too good for this. I was like, you just got out of jail and you in here beating on her. I was like, and y'all claiming y'all love each other, but this, you, this how, how? I was like, when well, y'all beating on each other, you know what I'm saying? Like, that I was like, how is this love? Like, how? So... I'm I'm sitting here trying to trying to listen. I'm sitting here trying to understand because I've never been exposed to to any any man putting his his hands on a woman like, bro. Like my 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 parents don't fight. You know what I mean? you know everybody fight, but not like that. Like my my daddy ain't gonna ever put his hands on my mom ever. Like ever, it, it just ain't gonna happen, bro. It's five of us and we'll jump that nigga. Just I, and I'm being real, just on some real shit. And he know that. So I just gotta say that. So so I didn't understand how X could put his hands on Geneva in any situation, whatever she did. I was like, yo, like, he was like, yo, she cheating on me. It's, it's all types of stuff coming out. And I was like, bro, it don't matter. I was like, if y'all love each other, y'all gonna work it out. I was like, but if y'all, if y'all don't, if y'all gon', if it takes for y'all to be fighting with each other like this, then y'all can't be together. And y'all sure the fuck can't be up in my house with this shit. So, you know, I just had to lay the ground rules. So, you know, Geneva told me her and X was doing, you know, basically, I'm going to have to tell y'all, Geneva was not allowed to speak around us unless X told her to speak. She wasn't allowed to more so damn near move. He controlled her. He was like, oh, he was like her fucking like god or something it's like he was like bitch get up come smoke this cigarette with me and she got up and went to go smoke that cigarette with him just like that like geneva moved just like that so i was just like i ain't really know how to have that situation you know situated in my mind but i had to act accordingly so these niggas could get whatever the fuck they had to get off their chest so they wouldn't beat each other in my fucking house so anyways we talking to each other for two hours damn near. Me, Geneva, X. We in that room talking to each other. And, you know, I I was tired of fucking talking eventually. I wanted to go out and chill with my friends. So I literally was like, yo, are y'all good? You know, we had to talk about what we talked about. And they were like, yeah. And I was like, okay, no more fighting. You know what I'm saying? This was like the second, I, what is this, the second, third day? This is like the second, third day they were staying with me. So I'm like, okay. So, um, I go out there, I'm chilling on the couch, I'm watching TV, and X comes out that room. And, like I said, it's a two-way room, it's a two, it's a two, like, it's a two-fucking door apartment, whatever. If y'all know what 10 Tower looks like, you have to... If y'all really want to know, Google 109 Tower and Google a two-door apartment. Y'all going to see how the set out looks. And then y'all can see the videos when I post this shit. Y'all can see it. Y'all going to see the whole set out and everything, how it looks. Because I have the videos. I have everything. So, um, he came out and he walked in front of the TV and he went out on the balcony. I lived on the 12th floor. And I think he went to go smoke a cigarette. I don't know. I'm not sure. I didn't really care because I was on the couch chilling with my friends. Him and Geneva weren't arguing at that point. So I was like, okay, like, great. Then he went back in the room and he, he like, grabbed her and they came out. They they both came out. They both went to the balcony. So I was like, okay, like, they they outside chilling. Like, this is good. Five minutes later, Geneva's screaming. She's like, Sadie! 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 Like, screaming for her life. For her entire life. I'm like, what the fuck? So I go outside and... X is dangling from my balcony, and Geneva is holding him. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, what? Like, they fighting, and this nigga jump, and she catch him. I'm like, oh, 
my god like we about to die right now like this is nighttime bruh so it, it's it's real late you know what i'm saying it's like actually it wasn't really it was like 11 o'clock it was 11 12 but it was it was i think it was on a weekday and down there by fiu it don't be a lot of traffic like that you know what i'm saying like late late night like that so <clears throat> um this nigga jumped and i was like what the fuck so she called me I'm like, yo, what? Like, so I, I see her. I kept, I'm, I'm holding on to her, bro. Cause I'm like, I'm like, bro, if, if she fall, they over. So I'm holding on to her. I'm trying to save them from dying. And this nigga grabbing for the floor. Like he reaching for the floor. So I'm like, bro, is he trying to like pull us down? I'm like, nah, hell no. Nah. Like, Lord, be with me. Like, I'm praying. I'm praying. Cause I'm like, y'all, this is a big ass fall. Like, I'm not trying to dead ass. Like, this is my life. I'm not trying to fall. So I'm thinking I could grab them, but I couldn't. I, like I was slipping. My whole arm was purple for a whole month. I couldn't. I couldn't grab them. So that ass, like the person, my homeboy who came to chill with us. Like I said, I believe in God. I don't know if y'all believe in God, but this nigga, I didn't even know like how big he was because I never kn- chill with this nigga. This is my first time really chilling with him, bro. This nigga was like six four. He big as fuck. Like big ass football player ass nigga. He looked. Huge, like he's huge, body figure type. I'm calling his name, but this nigga come outside and pull all of us up. So I'm like, oh my fucking god, like I'm like, thank God, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh my fucking god, Geneva straight boxing X in the face. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like everybody, Courtney screamed like, oh my fucking god, you know everybody trying to help. Like we almost died on the fucking balcony. So. Courtney, like, get the fuck off the balcony. The balcony's closed. <laughs> I remember Courtney was like, yo, balcony's closed. I was like, damn. Mm. So, we went back. We went back in the house. Fucking dead ass shut the balcony down. Because it was just too much on the balcony for one night. You know, balcony to chill spot. You get to see the view and shit. But some crazy shit had just happened. So, we wasn't fucking with that. So, I was like, X, like, what what the fuck was that? I was like, you can't be doing shit like that. He was like, yo, y'all thought I was going to jump? I was like, bro, what you mean? What you mean? What, what do you mean? What do you mean you thought I was going to jump? You did fucking jump. And Geneva was over there crying. She's like, that's not funny. Da, da, da. Like, just it, hysterical, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, she's hysterically crying, bruh. I'm like, bruh, this shit's not funny. Like, it was dead ass too much for me because he almost tried to commit suicide. He was like, yo, I was about to commit suicide. Da, 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 da. I'm like, bruh, like, this this is too much. I was like, you can't be jumping off my fucking balcony. You can't be doing shit like this, period. You know? Like, I don't have time for this shit. Like, what is this? So literally um that happens i go in and i'm i'm for real y'all like i was so shook i was so fucking shaken up i mean my my roommate was shooken up courtney she was shooken up my homeboy who came he was like yo what the fuck that's the nigga in the audio because that's the night the fucking audio was recorded that nigga was on some crazy shit he was like yo like i'm not he was like just he like I couldn't allow them to do anything. I was like, this is too much. You know what I'm saying? Like from that point, I was like, bro, like, like it's either y'all gotta go because I'm not having nobody jump off my balcony trying to kill themselves. Like this is my face, bro. This is me and my roommate face. Like y'all gotta go. I was like, either you gonna take your ass back to jail because you have an ankle monitor on and you on the college campus. I was like, do you not understand? Like you're ex 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 tentation. You know what I'm saying? Like you just got out of prison. What are you doing? Like. This is me trying to be a friend to him, y'all. Like, gee. So I'm like, I'm like, bruh, like, this this is too much. You can't be doing shit like this. Like, she got to go. He was like, and that's that's what the audio said. If y'all listen to the audio, he was like, oh, Sonny, she not, I don't even know if he said that in that part. But he told me, he was like, Sonny, she not going nowhere. He was like, I'll turn myself in because we was living in Sweetwater. We had FIU police right under us. It was Sweetwater police everywhere. The fuck... Bruh, it, it, the niggas was everywhere, bruh. I was like, nigga, X. I was like, you think I want to see you go to jail, bruh? I was like, but I don't want to see you beating on nobody, bruh. I was like, I can't have it. I was like, because what if, what if you kill her, bruh? Then what? Then what? Y'all ass going to jail. Like, you over. I'm like, so what, what? what's next? So he told me, he was like, Sonny, like, I can't. He was like, I can't have her homeless, bruh. Like, she going to be going to, she going to be going to back to them fucking Airbnbs, fucking all them niggas and members only, da, 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 da. And I'm like, I'm like, bruh, like. What, what then what am I gonna do you know what I'm saying like what y'all gonna do what is this like I, I can't I, I couldn't win in that situation bro I couldn't win in this whole entire situation no matter what because the situation is bigger than me bro and I ain't even mad it's just a, it's just the fact that 
they really tried that dumb shit. Geneva really tried that stupid shit. I don't, I just don't understand. Like, I really don't. But anyways, I'm gonna continue. So, later on that night, the audio was recording, of course. I was like, fuck this. I called my mom. I'm like, I called my mom. I was like, mom, I was like, there's a spirit in my house. I was like, a, a real bad spirit. And like, I, I don't, y'all don't know, but I'm, I don't have the best relationship with my mother. You know, I wish I did, but I don't. But in that, that point in time, bro, I was so fucking scared for my life. I had to call my mom. So I called my mom and she was like, Amber, like, she was like, I knew you were going to call me. She was like, I felt it. Like, it's a mother's intuition. She's like, I felt it. I just, I know my child. She's like, I couldn't sleep. I just knew it. And I called her and I was so fucking scared, bro. I was like, mom, like, it's demons in my house right now. I was like, there's a fucking energy in my house. I was like, and it's, it's, it's too much. I was like, this nigga just tried to jump off the balcony. I was like, I, what am I going to do? And she was like, come home. She was like, pack your shit. And she was like, bring your ass home. So I was like, okay, like, okay. <laughs> Mama's knows best. <laughs> I was hey, have shit else in my head. I was like, I'm going home, okay? I'm out. Y'all can tear this shit down. I don't give a fuck. Of course, my roommate Courtney was like, no the fuck, you not leaving me. I was like, ah, what do you mean? And she was like, Sunny, this is our house. Like, we can't leave. Da, da, da. I'm like, bruh, like. She's like, bruh, like, this, and she started crying. I was just like, fuck, Sunny, like, I mean, fuck, Courtney, bro, you right, like, ugh, like, I had to, I couldn't leave. Like, my mom was like, you know what, if you don't leave, I'm, I'm washing my hands with your ass. I was like, you know, like, that's real fucked up because I really need you right now. I was like, I really need you, bruh, but, you know, like, I, I can't leave my house. This is my house, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just, this my, this my shit, bruh, I work hard for my shit. So I was like, this, this, this me and Courtney shit, bro. We, we gotta do what we gotta do. We had to, we had to do what we had to do. So we held it down. X had, um, Geneva had went in the room like most of that entire night. The rest of that night, um, after the fucking audio, cause she was sitting down explaining the whole time. The audio was more so my way of dead ass like saying like. X was going to kill Geneva. Like, I really want y'all to understand, like, he was going to murder her. His intentions, more so that day, was to fuck that, fucking kill her. Like, on some real shit. Like, he didn't, he, y'all could say he was trying to change his life, and that's fine. I understand that. I saw everything he was trying to do, and y'all can have y'all opinion. I seen what I seen, and I actually been through what I've been through with him. So, I have my own opinion. You know what I'm saying? But, nonetheless... He was trying to kill her, bruh. On some real nigga shit. So, that night, she was in a room. She was in that room that they stayed in most of the night. And X asked me, could a stripper come over to the house? And I was like, listen, if that's gonna calm you the fuck down from jumping off balconies and doing anything because X didn't... I, I don't know if y'all... None of y'all... Well, some of you guys on here probably know X personally, but a lot of y'all don't. X didn't do drugs and he didn't really smoke weed and shit like that he didn't do anything he was like bro i just i want some head or some shit i was like okay so he came over bro and no um he asked me could the stripper come over and i was like i guess like courtney me and courtney was like i guess bro whatever so she came over um the guy my roommate never left that night because he wanted to make sure that me and courtney was protected that ex wouldn't do no crazy shit because he felt uncomfortable, you know what I'm saying? He had just saved our lives, and that ass, like, that was it. So, it was either I was going to head home with him, because I had, I had ways to get back to my mom's house. I was not fucking with that shit. I was like, yo, I'm about to leave, or, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is it. So, um, I we allowed the stripper to come over. Ex Geneva was in the room most of the night. Um, I went in there to check on her a few times, because, like I said, like, I don't really know her, but I wanted... I'm a girl. She's a girl. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted her... I, I wanted to know how she felt, bro. Like, I wanted to be there for her. Because who, like, who the fuck wants to be put in this type of situation? Like, I don't know what you're doing, but damn. Like, I just want to talk to you. You know what I'm saying? To, make, to see where your head's at or anything. Because this nigga doing whatever the fuck he want to do. So, you got to do something for yourself. And that's what I told her. I, like... She can't ever say that I never tried to fucking help her. Because that ass, like, I fucking tried. I was like, I talked to that girl so many times. And I tried to get her out, bro. But anyways, let me continue. Um, 
the stripper came over. She stayed till like fucking six a.m. I didn't go to sleep till seven a.m. on some real nigga shit because I ain't want to go to sleep to air. All the strangers obviously were out my house. This nigga jumped out the balcony at like twelve o'clock in the morning, eleven twelve o'clock in the morning. So we were talking and making sure like nobody was beating on each other from like. 12 till then like we had the whole conversation and doing whatever chilling you know so because what else are we gonna do the fuck it's nighttime you can't go to sleep if y'all doing some crazy shit like this so anyways um the stripper came over she left i eventually went to sleep i woke up and ex told me he was like i should have slit your throat in your sleep i was like bro what like, he used to do, like, I guess y'all could say that's playful shit. His his friends could say that's playful shit. But I really didn't fuck with shit like that because some people do have mental disorders and they will go ahead and do shit like that. And I just don't play around with people like that. Like, I don't. Especially in my sleep, nigga, move. Like, don't be hovering over me, the fuck. So he told me that shit and I was like, I wasn't fucking with it. I was like, okay, whatever. Anyways, bro. Woke up the next morning, um... I guess, I think we were about to go somewhere. Me, ex, Geneva, and Courtney were all about to go somewhere. And it's broad daylight, obviously. Like, it's in the morning time. So, we chilling, and they getting into it. Like, Geneva and ex was fucking getting into it again. And they was arguing about some shit. And I was like, bro, what? Like, what the fuck y'all arguing about now? You know what I'm saying? So, they... This nigga opened, like, he literally ran out on the fucking balcony again in broad daylight this time and jumped the fucking balcony. Oh, y'all, for, let me not forget, it was also raining, so, like, it, the bars are slippery, and I was scared this nigga was gonna slip and fall, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, bro, it's, like, daylight, like, get, it's people outside, get the fuck off. What are you doing? Your hair is orange, I mean, you know, yellow and fucking black, like, what are you doing? Mm. So this nigga's on the balcony, dangling himself. Geneva ran outside. He had a black hoodie on at the time. Geneva ran outside. She pulled his hoodie up. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, get y'all ass in here. Like, I'm tired of this shit. Like, get the fuck in here. I was like, X, you, like, Ja, like, you can't be doing shit like this. They didn't even call him Ja. I was like, X, like, you can't even be doing shit like this. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, bro? Like, this, no. You know what I'm saying? I was like... I told y'all I didn't want no crazy shit in my house. I was like, y'all, y'all doing too much shit. I was like, you beating on her. I was like, um, I was like, you jumped off the fucking balcony last night. Nigga, you tried to commit suicide. I was like, but this is too much. I was like, she ain't got nowhere to go. Y'all, mm-mm, I can't. So, literally, bruh, like, I think he was, I wanted to say this nigga was about to go turn himself into jail, bruh. Because he, the, the end of the conversation was that he couldn't stay with us anymore because he jumped off the balcony. I want to say that is what the fuck happened. I really believe that the conversation was like, yeah. After the audio, the end of that audio was like, yo, like, this nigga about to go back to jail because Geneva ain't have nowhere else to stay and she was going to stay with us and he was going to turn himself in. So I was like, okay, that you can have whatever stripper you want come over to this house then if you're going to go back to jail and we're all give a fuck because you my dog, you know what I'm saying? You and your girl got to do it, but y'all, she cheated on you. Y'all got a lot of situations going on. So I, I'm going to just go ahead and vibe tonight and do my fucking thing and watch the fuck over y'all because i don't know what the fuck is going on so the next morning like i said this nigga jumped off the balcony again it's raining it's broad daylight all the time outside um uh you know he come back in the room and then i get a knock on my door i was telling him i was you know talking to everybody i was like bro we can't be doing shit i don't want nobody coming up here Da, da, da. they had that room illegally type shit so i was like bro like y'all can't be living in this room like this is a dorm you know what i'm saying plus you on house arrest you you really can't be doing shit like this like on some real nigga shit so that ass like um um what happened i'm trying to remember i can't fucking remember um i got a knock on the door yeah i got a knock on the fucking door and it was maintenance and maintenance came up from 109 tower and they were like oh we just got like a few noise complaints from y'all and they was like we actually had some noise complaints before and i was like what you mean and they was like oh we had noise complaints that you know it was people making noise over here and i was like bro like it ain't nothing but then when they came in they saw jose had a fucking ankle monitor on and they saw you know they saw him so they was like yo and people obviously knew that he was staying with me it was fans like oh XXX lives with Sunny, you know what i'm saying people knocking on my door and shit taking pictures i'm like bro what the fuck so dead ass like um, like, literally, uh, 
What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. This shit is so crazy. Bruh. So yeah, fucking the maintenance comes up and this nigga, they take him out. No, maintenance comes up and they're like, oh, we have a noise complaint. And I'm like, I'm like, yo, it's nothing. I was like, he just jumped off the balcony. I was like, it's a prank. I was like, he didn't, you know, you did a little prank. I was like, they were like, yo, we don't prank like this. They was like, we don't play like this. No person in their right mind jumps off the balcony. I was like, okay. I was like, but it was a joke. They're like, okay, okay. So they, they like walked away. It's like, don't let it happen again. I was like, it won't happen again. They walked away. And then literally like two minutes later, I had like, Sweetwater police up there, FBI up there, like, it was, like, 30 fucking cops up there. So they came in, and they saw him, and they took his ass out. So I was like, oh, shit, you know what I'm saying? I was like, damn, like, this shit is, this shit is crazy, like, what the fuck about to happen? Geneva, I wanted to hear what Geneva was gonna say. And she was like, she was like, oh, he didn't hit me. And I was, I, me and Courtney looked at each other like, what? He, he what? What? What she just said? Like you telling me you want to leave and you doing, and you tell, and you said, and you what? So that already confirmed with me that she was like cuckoo in the head. Cause I'm like, what? What do you mean you don't want to leave, bro? I mean, he not hitting you. I was like, what? What do you mean, bro? Like what? So I ain't say nothing. Cause I'm I'm dead ass chilling, bro. I'm looking at her like, okay, like G shit. I'm looking at her like, okay, she's talking to the fucking police, and they like, so you telling me where are, where you got all these bruises from? She answering her questions. Da da da. They ask me questions. I'm the oldest person in the house, so they ask me questions. I'm like, bro, I ain't talking shit. I should I got my lawyer? Cause you got me fucked up. I'm not talking about nothing. So um, literally like, I guess because. He jumped off the balcony. They took him away. Like, they had took him downstairs. They were, they were fucking him up out there by the elevator. Because I live literally, like, in a little corner. So, in the corner of one of the tower by the elevator. So, they were right there, like, um, they were right there by the elevator. Like, just, I heard them. They were like, he was like, bro, I didn't hear her, bro. Tell him I didn't hear her, bro. Tell him. Sonny, tell him. And I didn't hear her. Tell him I didn't hear her. And I was like, I was like, bro. I was like, bro, like. Like, what the fuck? Like, I ain't say shit. I was just like, damn, like, this is crazy. So, they took him, and I was like, damn, I wonder what the fuck gonna happen to him. Like, I thought this nigga was gonna get arrested. I thought he was gonna get sent back. Call I ain't know. But I'm like, damn. So, that was Geneva's first time to get away. We had called her homegirl at the time. I ain't gonna put her homegirl name in this, because me and her homegirl ain't got no type of energy, you know, going on. But, I ain't, um, we called her homegirl. And her own girl came to get her, and I took X clothes and all his stuff to his friend's house. That members only, members only shit. They had an Airbnb at the time, and I took the shit over there. And I was talking to my nigga at the time. We had broken up for a little bit. We had made up, and literally, like, I was just over there fucking with them. I took their shit that whole night. Turned into some crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was a whole fucking. It was an Airbnb with them fucking members type shit but apparently like some nigga walked in they had turned they were like yo sonny don't leave yet because i was about to go back to miami obviously i was tired i was chilling all fucking night i was i had made up with my nigga so i wanted to go back home i was gonna take him home but they was like yo sonny like don't leave you about to have a party so i was like okay they fucking ended up having a party and a nigga got stabbed at the party and i was really i was not fucking with that shit you know what i'm saying so i eventually left obviously i gotta go home i'm not fucking with stabbings at the parties or any of that so I go home, I'm chilling. X is not at my house, Geneva's not at my house. Me and Courtney are big chilling. We're like, thank God, you know what I'm saying? We finally got them out, like she finally got away. Like this is a whole crazy ass situation that we had went through. We're, we're thinking that it's over, like me and Courtney. Not knowing that X got Baker acted apparently and he didn't get sent to jail. I didn't know that until this nigga popped back up in my door two days later because there's literally at the hospital, they released him because they said there's nothing wrong with him. So I'm like, okay, so, um, literally, like, uh, he, he pops up back, back to my house, like, two days later, me and Courtney, we just, I mean, we welcomed him in, of course, like, we got all his shit back, and then Geneva wasn't there, so that's, like, he stayed with me for three months, during those whole, that whole period of him staying with me by himself, he was, like, trying to make music, we had mad visits from his friends, from our friends at the time because I was kind of friends with those people too so 
we had, you know, like, I was just trying to help him get his life back right. I was like, yo, like, this is what you needed the whole time. I was like, I'm not going to say, you know, y'all don't need each other. I was like, you know, if y'all want to be with each other, that's fine. I was like, but maybe you need space from her. Maybe you guys could just work it out from afar right now and then get back together later on in life. You know, like, because love is love. You can't help who you love or whatever. So... I was like, you know, just work it out. I was like, but right now, just focus on yourself. Please focus on your music. Like, please make some music. He had people coming over. They was making beats. We went to go get his laptop from Best Buy. I have pictures. I'm not going to lie. Um, DJ Lissette, if y'all know her, that's his best friend or whatever. She came over. That was my first time meeting her when he allowed, like, he asked me, could she come over? And I was like, yeah. And she came over, and I was like... I was like, yo, like, this is so cool. Like, she helped him. X had money, of course, but he was still up and coming. He wasn't as big as he was before he died. So she, she like, helped him with a lot. Like, when we went to go to Best Buy, because he was on house arrest, his PO allowed him, because obviously he was an upcoming superstar, to have time to be off. Like, I, didn't, I really didn't know how probation and shit like that worked until he came to live with me. So I was thinking, I was like, I was like, damn, you get time where you could actually go places? Like, I thought if he was in house arrest, you got to stay in the house. He was like, nah, she going to give me, she going to give me, you know, I could go places, but it has to be in the vicinity or whatever. I was like, okay, so we went to the Best Buy and shit. And we got his laptop. And he started, he started, like, he was back doing a repost on SoundCloud. And he was just doing his thing. And, like, I was just so proud of him. And. DJ Lissette, when they bought the laptop, what I'm saying is she came over. While I'm, I, I fuck with her. Like, she came over and she was like, she helped him, like, buy extra parts of his pieces that, you know, he really didn't need. But I guess he needed right then and there to make, you know, whatever music that he was going to make. And I was like, yo, like, she's ride or die for him. You know what I'm saying? It should have came out to $300. And I, I that was my first time meeting her. I was like, okay, shorty, like... It ain't nothing. I was like, it ain't nothing to you to just spend it. I feel you. Like, if you got it, spend it. You know, fuck it. So, that's exactly what happened. You know, like, she came over. X was making his music. We was chilling, bro. Like, life was so good, y'all. Like, for real. That shit was lit. And then, literally, like, I want to say this is late September. Wait. This was like late September. Um, this was like late September, bro. Um, X fucking, he like X. I was on my balcony because I really love my balcony. <laughs> I just love the view, and I was like, I was out there chilling. He came out there. Courtney was inside cooking, and I'm not gonna lie. During the time, during the time Geneva wasn't living with us. I told y'all we had mad people to come stay with us, like, just come visit us and stuff. So his manager at the time, I really don't want to give his name because, you know, I don't know where we stand. I don't talk to him anymore. I really don't fuck with nobody like that. But, you know, like, he he came to stay with us. He was staying with us for, like, two days. And I told him he was his manager at the time. I was like, yo, you could come stay with us. Like, he he's a witness, too. I was like, you could come stay. I was like, you could stay if you want because he needs somebody here with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he can't be, like, he can't be um, here by himself. So, basically, they came. I mean, like, uh, he stayed with us and we was lit. When I was on that balcony, X came. This was, like, late, late fucking September. Like, beginning of October. No, nah, late September. Like, the last week of September, basically, or whatever. He came to me and he's like, um, he's like, yo, Sonny, can Geneva come back? And I was like, hell no. Nah. I was like, you bugging. I was like, nope, you got me fucked up. I was like, because, ain't gonna lie, y'all, this video about to end, but, um, I'm gonna have to do, like, I'm gonna have to dead ass, like, make another video, like, start another one, because it's, say, like, 34 minutes remaining. But... Um, he asked me, could Geneva come back? And I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, hell no, nah, because you got me fucked up. I was like, this nigga, you, you been, we done went through too much. You know what I'm saying? I was like, no, she can't come back. Actually, y'all, I'm about to end this, and I'm about to start a new video because 
This shit is crazy. Like, I got 11, ma 11 seconds, so hold up. Alright, so actually, um, he came to, he came to me and he was like, he was like, Sunny, can you even stay with me? I mean, can she come stay with us? And I was like, bruh, no. I was like, you bugging. I was like, you was, like, we, we've been through too fucking much for this. You know what I'm saying? I was like, so, we can't, like, we can't, I, I don't, I, I'm not comfortable with this. <laughs> like, not at all. You know, like, I'm really not comfortable with this. So he was like, he was like, Sunny, I promise, like, I'm not, I'm not going to beat her. I'm not going to hit her. And I was like, yo, like, but Ja, I was like, you, you said that already. You know what I'm saying? I was like, you doing so good. I was like, and you just don't need this right now. Like, and I was like, bro, like, it's just too much. I was like, it's too much for her to be here right now with you. I was like, he was like, yo, where she stand? They telling, they telling me she listening to my music and she can't listen to my music. And they don't like that. And, you know, she missed me and I miss her. And I'm like. I know y'all miss each other because, you know, like, y'all boyfriend and girlfriend or whatever, y'all got love for each other and y'all done did all type of shit together. I was like, but this is just too much. I was like, it's it's just too much, bro. So, deadass, um, literally, um, I was like, go ask Courtney. <laughs> I was like, this is not only my house. I was like, you could definitely go ask Courtney. I was like, we're in this together. And... <laughs> he went to go ask Courtney, and Courtney was like, I don't know, bro. <laughs> she was like, I don't know. I don't know about this. Like, I'm not sure. She was like, because Sunny, bro, like, oh, I just, it's too much. And I'm like, I know. But everybody was looking at me. They was pointing the finger at me like, Sunny, yes or no, yes or no, yes or no. <sighs> so I eventually, like, this nigga got on his knees, actually. X got on his fucking knees, bro. And he dead ass was like praying to me, and I was looking at him like, "What the fuck is wrong with you? Like, get your ass off the floor!" Like, you know what I'm saying? He was like, "Sunny, please, bro." He's like, "I will kiss your feet, bro. I will not, I will not hear her, bro. Like, just, just telling me, like." And I just knew, y'all. I knew because this, he wasn't, <laughs> he wasn't the most humble person. Like, he was humble, but he was very violent. Like, he wouldn't listen. He wouldn't not hit her like he never just sat the fuck down and just chill it was always the issue he was always on the phone arguing with somebody when he was like he was like rob fuck his girlfriend and geneva literally after she got beat the fuck up she went to go fuck her rob i was like what like i don't understand but this is crazy because I, I, she was really cheating on him you know what i'm saying but he was fucking beating her and i'm just like dog what i don't understand the situation like he was like bro like it's little bits of the uh, pieces of the truth uh of the truth coming out and you know like he's like um I, I let me do my thing with her and i'm like bro i can't i can't let you do your thing with her bro i can't give y'all private time you know what i'm saying i can't do this shit so anyways um he asked me he asked me to like come back and i eventually said yeah this nigga i was like get your ass off the floor i was like she could come back i was like but it's under one circumstance bro i was like one fucking circumstance bro that you're not gonna hit her bro i was like promise me bro you gotta promise me like g shit i was like because i can't do this x i was like this is my face i was like this is your face you could go to prison for the rest of your life i was like florida and florida domestic violence i was like this is a three strike state bro i've been bro nigga if you live in florida you know this is a three fucking strike state you're out bro like you don't have time for that and niggas with a domestic violence charge bro you sitting in jail no matter what color you are bro they don't play about that shit so that's what happened you know what i'm saying like i told him i was like you can't you can't hit her. He promised me he wouldn't hit her. He swore to me he wouldn't hit her. I was like, all right. She came back that night. <laughs> Geneva came back that night. Will, I mean, damn, I fucked up. But everybody was like, damn. Like, really, like, my roommate Courtney, she was like, damn. The other boy, he was like, I mean, his manager, he was like, damn. Um, you know what I'm saying? They was like, everybody was like, damn, like, we just gonna see what happened type shit. Like, see if they could, you know, handle each other, not act up. We wanted to have faith in him. Like, I have faith in him. That was my thing. Like, I, I told y'all, me and him, we, we weren't best friends growing up. We didn't hate each other. We ain't had no fucking beef, but 
I just wanted to look out for him. You know what I'm saying? And, like, I didn't want him to fucking be her because I knew it would get him into any more trouble than he was already in. And it would fuck him up. And plus, let alone her, I knew him. So that's why I was more so on his side at first. With her, it was like, I don't really know you, Geneva, but if you cheating on him, you need to tell him whatever you know. You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, he needs to know something. You're not telling him. I was like, I could see you're scared as fuck. I was like, but if you want to be with him, if you're telling me all of this, you you telling me you want to leave, but you're telling me you want to be with him. I was like, if you're telling me all of this and you really want to be with him, bro, you need to say, you need to speak up, bro, and just say what you got to say and just be done with the whole situation so y'all could live, you know? And these niggas was not, they was not on that shit, bro. Like, they, <laughs> Jimmy would not speak up, apparently, or whatever. So anyways, I let her come back. She came back that night. They was living, she was living with me for like, I only remember how long it was. Because it's shit so vague. But it was like two, I want to say like two, a week or two. Because the fucking shit happened October 5th. Like, October 5th, October 6th. It was the day... It was the week of Hurricane Matthew. If you live in South Florida or if you know this shit or anything, it was the fucking week of Hurricane Matthew. Why? Because, uh, well, why do I remember this shit so vaguely? I love science. <laughs> so this shit was crazy. I, you know, I didn't want to stay in a high rise. It was a, supposedly a Category 5 hurricane at the time. And I told X, I was like, um, I was like, bruh, like, you know, like, we got to pack. And also, let me tell you what happened. When they was living with me, of course, we had people coming to our house. People was chilling with us. Geneva was with us. He wouldn't really allow her to go anywhere. Even when we walked to the fucking corner store, like, he would barely allow her to go anywhere with us. But when one day, um, that room that was that they were standing, I told y'all they were standing that shit illegally. So we were supposed to not... They weren't supposed to be in that fucking room. It's a dorm. They living on a college dorm. So that ass, bro, like... Maintenance knocked on the door and they were like, yo, the, the girl, oh, I remember her name. The girl, she was about to come stay in that room. But maintenance saw, like, the girl was coming up and maintenance had saw that X was still there from previous times before. And they seen Geneva as, and they, see, my nigga was there at the time. Like, they seen everybody. So I was like, oh shit. Actually, me and my nigga was in the bathroom at the time. My roommate was handling that situation, I remember. But, Bruh, like, we, like, they was like, yo, y'all gonna get evicted. <laughs> they was like, y'all gonna get evicted or this nigga gotta go today. Like, we're gonna come up here because we have a roommate and she's supposed to be in that room and y'all gonna get charged a thousand dollars for that room because the fucking rent is nine seventy nine per month at 109 Tower. So, that ass, like, um, the fucking, uh, he was like, yo, maintenance came up, the whole, like, the whole manager of the whole one on nine tower shit. He was like, yo, like this is illegal. You guys have a, a delinquent with a fucking ankle monitor on his on his leg in a, a dorm. This is illegal. I can take over your scholarship. All type of shit. Threatening my roommate. Just all type of shit. So X was like X was like, yo, I had he was like X X was supposed to live with me for three months. Like I told y'all. It wasn't supposed to be it wasn't really supposed to be three months. It was supposed to be however long he needed more so to get into his house but he said it wasn't gonna be that long so he told me like a month or two so i'm like okay like that's decent it just so happened to be that because he got into a big ass situation so he stand with me i mean uh maintenance came up and fucking they told me he gotta leave and i'm like all right x had bought a house in north miami beach so i'm like I'm like, okay, like, he got the house. Of, cry of course, we got to get the keys to the house, and we also have to get his address changed legally from my address to his new address in North Miami. So I'm like, okay, this is this is good. You know what I'm saying? I was like, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> I was like, it doesn't matter because you guys are leaving, and we could all be, like, the best of friends after this. I was like, after you guys, get the fuck out. I was like, because there's too much shit going on. You know what I'm saying? Like, we was big chilling at that point in time, but... Still more so, like, my maintenance was coming at us, at me and Courtney, because we had them illegally stand with us, and the girl, the roommate, was coming to stay, because she obviously wanted to have her damn college experience. Like, what the fuck is that like? It just, it just so happened that she walked in, and XXX Sensation is staying, you know, in her dorm. So, it's like, it was just wild, you know? So, um, you know, we got the keys. Actually, we didn't even get the keys to North Miami. We had to wait because it was, I think that was on, 
if I recall, I want to say Hurricane Matthew was towards... I don't fucking remember. It was maybe on a weekday. It was October 5th. October 5th, 6th, 2016. It was somewhere between there. It's somewhere near the weekend, I remember, because... Um, the parole officer is closed on the week on the weekdays. I mean, on the weekend. So we had to go to her office on a weekday. So it was the weekend when maintenance had came up. I think I want to say it was Sunday. I really don't fucking remember, but I want to say it was Sunday, or some shit like that. And we had to wait till Monday. I think it was a day. Like maintenance came up that day, and then we had to fucking like go the next day to change his address to the next address so they could go live at the next house. So we did that, and that ass, like, on my mama, it was Hurricane Matthew time, everybody was evacuating. Like I said, 109 Tower is right across the street from FIU. That's Flagler over there by 109th Avenue. So y'all know it's a big ass, like, Walmart over there. You know, it's like a lot of shit over there. It's pretty nice. It's, it's nice. But obviously, if it's hurricane time, all the gas stations and shit is packed up everything ain't no water ain't nothing ain't nobody got no time to get nothing because we trying to get situated so i'm like yo i'm not trying to stay in this high rise i need to pack my stuff and i need to go to my mom's house and i wanted courtney to come with me but my mom and courtney didn't have the best relationship so you know my mom was not be feeling that but then again if it's a category five who the fuck gonna let anybody stay in you know out in the streets in the category five hurricane like you need to find shelter so <laughs> that's what the fuck I did I was packing my shit to come back to Broward X we had to get X's address changed from my house to his house and that's what we were doing me Courtney and his manager at the time we drove um we drove to fucking we drove to Broward we drove all the way from Miami to Broward downtown Broward and me and Courtney waited in a car his manager went up there and handled all the, the situations with changing his address from North Miami. And I told y'all my mom lived in Broward. So I was going to go to my mom's house. I had already packed my stuff. Courtney was going to stay at the house in Miami. She was going to go back. And she was going to take she was gonna take X in Geneva and the manager back to his new house. And I was going to be dropped off at my mom's house. So we went to my mom's house for the pit stop, obviously, to drop my stuff off. And... I was going to stay, obviously. But then the manager and Courtney was like, nah, come. They was like, come, Sunny, because this is going to be your last time seeing X until the hurricane over. And, you know, da 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 And I'm like, you you know, that's right. So anyways, when we left, like, basically when we left the house, I looked at Geneva. Like, I gave her this, like, she looked at me weird. She looked at me weird as hell. And it's like, it was like a, a girl, like a a woman, like, it's, it's, it's dead ass. She told me it was mother's intuition, and I got that because I had that no matter what. Like, because obviously, like, I'm a mom, but, you know, I'm going to be a mom, whatever. But it's like, it's just like, um, she, she, she was like, yo, like, I seen, she's like, I seen you look at me, and I dead ass gave you a look. And I, like, when I walked out, I was like, yo, y'all don't do nothing I wouldn't do. I was like, we just going to change your address, and we're going to come back and get y'all, and we're going to take it to the house, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was it. So, literally, <laughs> we drove to Broward, we changed the address, it's bad day outside, it's early, we go to my mom's house, drop my stuff off, I didn't want to come back and make that drive back to Miami, I told Courtney no, but she was like, she was like, nah, like, come on, I was like, damn, alright, I'm a slide, I'm a slide, fuck it, so, I slid. And then we lit, we left. We went back to the house, and we walked through the door. And the first thing his manager said was, "Oh shit!" And Courtney walked in second, and she was like, "Oh my god, I remember this shit like it was yesterday." And and. I walked in and I saw Geneva's fucking face. Her f I just I walked in and they opened the door and I saw her face. Her f bro. I walked out. Two seconds after that, 
because I couldn't look at her face. I couldn't even look at her, bruh. Like, I couldn't even look at her. Like, her shit was huge. Her entire face was fucking huge. Her shit was the size of a fucking pumpkin with, like, super implants. Like, her shit was, like, stupid fat. I was like, oh, like, bruh. Like, I was lost for words. I had to walk out. I could, I threw up right in my mouth. I had to swallow my shit. Like, I couldn't even, a bitch couldn't even swallow that pill, you know? Like, because her face was so fucked up. Like, he had beat her so bad. And I was just looking at her like, like, damn, you know? Like, so I think I called my best friend at the time. And I was like, like, I didn't even know who the fuck to call, bro. I was like, should I call 911? Like, should I call the police? Like, like, what the fuck should I do, bro? Like, I don't know what to do right now because, because, like, what the fuck? Like, look at her face. Like, what what if they put this shit on me? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even know. Like, I've been telling this. This is too much shit. Like, hell nah. So, I get it. I get back together. My roommate's calling me. Courtney calling me. They calling me. I go back in there. And, um, I, <sighs> Bro, I just see her, bro. And I'm just like, what the fuck? So I talk to X. And I'm like, I'm like, Courtney, go in there and try to help Geneva. Geneva was apparently throwing up in the bathroom. He he hit her again, too, in the room. I didn't see it. But Courtney and the fucking manager seen it. Like, he slapped the fuck out of I heard it. He was like, oh, just one more time. I was like, what you mean? Like, huh? Like, what? Like, I'm scared for my fucking life. So I'm like, I know her ass scared for, like, she, <sighs> he's like, Sonny, bruh, if you would've gave me five more minutes, bruh, she would've been a dead corpse in your bed, bruh. I was like, what? Like, instantly, I, I was out the fucking window. I just, my whole roof was gone. I was like, okay, psychotic. I gotta go. Like, don't have the time for this shit. Like, uh-uh. I left these niggas in my room because I told y'all the roommate, the new girl who had came to get that room they were standing in was already in that room. Or she was she was moving in, but she didn't move in yet. She was moving her stuff in. So they were like locked up in my room, basically. Me and Courtney. So me and Courtney's room. So, you know, they, it was blood like all over my fucking blanket and everything. Like all of that shit. Like the fucking... Like, just, just everything, like, just all of that shit, bro. Like, I just, I couldn't deal with that shit. I was like, you know what, whatever you have of mine on, I was like, you need to take it because all your clothes are bloody. I was like, you need to take your fuck, take these clothes and we need to get the fuck out. I was like, we need to leave from here now. I was like, I'm not waiting no more. I put tea bags on her face to try to help her. I try to help reduce the swelling in her eyes. I was trying to talk to her. I told her how sorry I was for leaving her. That I shouldn't have never left her there. Ex was just on some next level shit. I didn't want to talk to him. And his fucking album. Um, I forgot the name of the fucking album. 17 I think it says. I don't know. But that song Carry On bro. That shit. The whole, the whole fucking song is about. The whole situation that happened in Miami and niggas don't fucking know y'all so fucking stupid y'all think y'all know everything that whole song is literally me telling him like more so or less bro like you fucked up bro like this is a terrible situation bro that's all I kept saying to him when we were in that house like he wasn't talking to Courtney he was like bro I fucked up Sonny bro this is bad huh Sonny this is bad I was like bro this is terrible bro I was like you fucked up like you fucked up like this is bad this is bad like I couldn't say no more than that because what else can you say bro like, what the fuck else can you say? There's nothing to be said at that point in time. Not a fucking thing. So, I'm like, I'm like, we gotta go. Like, I'm not dealing with this. I'm taking their ass to this new house. We didn't got this fucking address. Me and Courtney about to go back to Broward. We dropping you, her, and his fucking manager off. And we're leaving. We're out. And that's exactly what the fuck happened. We dropped their ass off. And I was like, 
be good fucking riddance. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm done with y'all ass. Like, I don't have time for this. Because y'all ain't, y'all, y'all not doing shit for me. You know what I'm saying? I didn't goddamn near evicted for y'all. I got to pay a thousand dollars because y'all was just standing there room ex talking about, oh, I'm going to help you pay this. I'm going to help you pay that. Bitch, I ain't get a dime from him. So I was like, honestly, like, I'm going to pay this shit. Me and Courtney got that shit situated. You know what I'm saying? We was trying to scramble shit to pay that shit. We got that shit situated. Um, you know what I'm saying? He he went to his new house. We dropped him off in that house. I have videos of that shit too, literally, like the last time. And that was it. I made a Snapchat. That shit is still saved in my fucking phone. Like, just like that. So, um, after that, like, I, I can't even lie, bro. This, this shit is crazy because this story is out. And this is my last time. This is my first and last time ever saying this shit. And I'm done. Um, but yeah, like, that shit definitely fucking happened. You know what I'm saying? It definitely, more than definitely happened. The situation is super traumatic and it's very sad because Jaste is not here because he fucking died. I don't appreciate the people who took his life. I don't appreciate, you know, the fact that he had to die the way he died, bro. He shouldn't have died like that. He shouldn't, nobody shouldn't have did that to him, bro. Like, everybody deserves another chance, bro. Everybody deserves a chance to live, bro. No other human being should take your life. So I don't know, I really, that shit, it hurt me. But at the same time, when I found out the news about Jasse, I shed a tear. I shed a few tears, bro. I called DJ Lissette and make sure she was straight. And I called Geneva and Geneva sounded like she was straight. I FaceTimed her and I made sure they both was fucking straight. Anyways, when I'm after, whatever, let me finish this fucking story. Um, after fucking, after, after I went, after I dropped their ass off to Miami, when me and Courtney dropped all of them off to Miami, the three of them, uh, Geneva, the manager, and um, X, we fucking went to Miami. I'm chilling at my home by house. You know, it's, it's, we, I mean, I'm going back to Broadway, so I'm chilling. I go to my mom's house, but I ain't really trying to be there. It's my mom's house. So I go to my friend's house because I'm from Broadway. I'm not chilling at my mom's house in a fucking hurricane. I'm going to my friend's house. So I go to my friend's house, and dead ass, like, we over there chilling. X called me on the phone. He's like, yo, you seen Geneva? And I'm like, Ex- excuse me? What did you say? What? He was like, son, you seen Geneva? I'm like, bruh, hell no. Nah. What the fuck you mean did I see Geneva? Like, what do you mean did I see her? He's like, bruh, like, she not here. I'm like, what do you mean she not there? I just dropped your ass off a couple hours ago. What the fuck do you mean she not there? And he was like, bruh, like, I looked everywhere around the house. She gone. She not here. And I was like, okay, well, this, this, let me tell you two things. I was like, two things can happen in this situation. He was like, you think she gonna say something? You think she, you think where she went? You think she gonna say something? I was like, listen, listen, let me tell you something. I was like, you fucked up her face. Let me tell you something. You fucked that girl face up, bruh. She almost died, bruh. That girl, was, she couldn't see out of both of her eyes. Both of her eyes were purple. Both of them. Both of them. So I was like, bruh, like, there's no way. You know what I'm saying? Like, that ass, there's no way. Um, I was like, bruh, there's no way. What, what the fuck am I saying? I'm like, there's no way, um, like, she not going to go call the police. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody not going to see her. I was like, you fucked up her face really bad, y'all. I was like, so... I don't know what to tell you. Like, I, I ain't see her. You know what I'm saying? I don't know where the hell her ass went from that point. And me and Geneva, like I said, we weren't close. So I didn't have her number like that. Her and ex more so had the same number because he didn't allow her to talk to other, no other niggas, especially if they was together. Like, she was obviously doing that shit on the side. She was cheating on him on the side. <laughs> so she did it on the side. So they ain't, I ain't have no way of contacting her. You know what I'm saying? I ain't have her social media like that. I just knew that she was living with me type shit. And... That was it. Like, we weren't friends. I was just trying to help help their ass out, me and Courtney. So, um, he, he was like, yo, he was like, yo, Sonny, like, I don't know what to do, da, da, da. I was like, bruh, like, I don't know. He's like, I think she escaped out the kitchen. Because in their house, like, it was a, a really skinny, arrow, I mean, narrow, like, hallway for the kitchen. And the refrigerator was, like, blocking it and shit. So, like. So, if, like, she opened the refrigerator door more so, she could have snuck out and opened that, like, the back door of the kitchen, like, really quietly and snuck out. And that's exactly what the fuck she did. So, she snuck out and she went to get help from somebody, you know, and the next day he got arrested. He got arrested and he fucking didn't get out of jail till March. And all his jail calls and shit, a lot of those jail calls, like, 
he was fucking calling me, tell, talking to me. Oh, you have you didn't you didn't tell nobody. You didn't tell nobody this. You didn't have you told anybody. I'm like, bro, why would I tell somebody? Like, what what, what the fuck? Why would I do that? I was like, I I've been holding shit down for so long. Why would I go ahead and tell somebody now? Like, what what the fuck do you mean? Did I not? Huh? I'm like, bro, like, what's up with you? Like, why, why are you always questioning me like this? You know what I'm saying? Making, making it seem like I'm not holding you down when I'm the only one that's holding you down. Like, I've been calling these members only niggas when you've been hitting this bitch. And it's like, th- none of them coming for the rescue, bro. I'm the only one here, bro. Like, what the fuck? Me and Courtney, the only one here. Me, Courtney, and his manager, dog. I have to give it to his manager, bro. That's why I ain't got no beef with, bro. I don't know if he got beef with me and I don't give a fuck. Because at the end of the day, I give it to him, bro. We was the only ones holding him down. Me him and fucking Courtney, bruh. So I was like, bruh, what's up with you? And, and DJ Lissette, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was like, yo, I'm not cool with my mom. I don't talk to his mom. Even his manager at the time was telling me that he wasn't fucking close to his mom. My ex-boyfriend at the time was telling me, yo, he he not cool with his mom. Like, and ain't no Cleo at the time. I didn't know her. So, what, what the, I'm not, I, I'm, bruh, I'm not your mom. I'm not going to talk to nobody, mom. I'm nobody's mom. You know what I'm saying? I'm my own fucking person, bro. I was 20, 21 something at the time, bro. I don't have 20, 20, I think, at the time. I don't have time for that shit. You know what I'm saying? I really don't. So, um, what happened, bro? Um, where am I trying to, where am I going? Okay, so after, after he called me, he called me, he was like, yo, did you see her? I was like, nah, you know, she, she out, bro. Like, I don't, I don't know. And nigga got arrested. All the members told me. He called me from jail. He was asking me, you know, was I, was I saying shit to anybody? And I was like, bro, I'm holding this shit down for you. You know what I'm saying? That whole time he got out, <clears throat> excuse me, that whole time um, he was in jail, like, I ain't gonna lie, for a month, he ain't talked to me in jail. And I was wondering, I was like, yo, what's up with X? I was like, why he not calling me? And like, when he fucking, when he, when he eventually called me, it was DJ Lissette that was on the phone. It was a three-way call from Joe. Obviously, you got to call the call. He had to call somebody, and they got to call me. So he called DJ Lissette, and DJ Lissette called me. And I was like, yo, X, he's like, yo, Sonny, bro, what the fuck? I've been hearing all type of shit. And I'm like, what you mean? What you been hearing? And he's like, bro, niggas telling me all type of shit. Niggas telling me, um, you know, I need different friends. And you telling them one thing. I'm like, bro, first of all, you got shit twisted. I was like, you got shit way twisted. I was like, I need you to get this shit right. He was like, what should I do? I'm like, first of all, you need to switch up all your friends. I was like, your house is a fucking mess. He wanted to know about his house in North Miami. And I used to be over there with my ex-boyfriend. But it, they used, they turned that shit to an Airbnb. So I was like, I wasn't really fucking with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I couldn't. I was at the time because I was with my nigga at the time. But just me, myself, trying to do better for myself. And every day, like, I'm not, I, ain't, I wasn't with it. So... G shit, like, like, this nigga, he just wanted to know, he was like, yo, like, um, he was like, Geneva told me she, she not even fucking with me no more, and I, I knew that bitch snitched on me, and she did all this and that, and I'm like, bro, like, he's like, you're not gonna snitch me right now, you're not gonna tell me nothing, bro, all that shit is on the jail calls, bro, like, all that shit is on the fucking jail calls, like, if y'all wanna know, Google that shit, bro, go fucking find that shit, go find that shit, it's on there, like, the fucking case is closed because he died. And that's that ass unfortunate. Like, it's unfortunate. And unfortunately, if he was alive, he would still have to be fighting the fucking case. But he, I don't, I'm sure he would have faced jail time because he confessed to a lot of shit. X was fucking crazy. Like, I'm not trying to make Bruh seem like a bad person because you, everybody's subject to change, bruh. You could be a bad person and want to change your life, bruh. You could do bad shit and want to change, bruh. That's, that's, bruh, you're human, bruh. Everybody's fucking human, bruh. You know what I'm saying? So, of course... He wanted to change, bro. But at the same time, he was using me, bro. The nigga was using me, trying to get my fucking, my image, like, fucked up. He was like, yo, like, like, Sonny, like, you not gonna tell nobody. I'm like, nigga, I've been holding this shit down for so long. Like, why would I do that? You know? Like, just dead ass. So, all them jail calls, like I said, go fishing for them shits if y'all want to. All them fucking jail calls is, is just... There, that's the proof for y'all too. It's it's more than it's more proof than y'all need, bro. Cause it is what it is, bro. That shit happened. It is, it's real shit. That nigga beat the fuck out of her. I ain't got no reason to lie. She ain't got no reason to lie. Y'all seen her face? The fuck? Just cause the fucking case wasn't proven, he wasn't proven guilty. Cause the nigga he died. Like what the fuck? Like that ain't man, y'all bugging. But anyways, um, he got out. He got out in March. Me and like I well, I used to live in one of nine tower and. 
And January of 2017, I had moved back to my mom's house. So I also had broke up with my boyfriend who was in members only at the time in fucking December. So I wasn't like, I really wasn't fucking with members like that. You know what I'm saying? X was in jail in January 2017 still. Like, I wasn't fucking with nobody like that. Um, I moved back there in, in January. He got out in March. I was on the phone with Rock Nation. And I was on a, a fucking call with an AR from Rock Nation. And um, this nigga was like, yo, we trying to sign X. And I remember, like, talking to X. Plenty of times with DJ Lissette, and it would be times this nigga was on lockdown and shit, and I remember we couldn't talk all the time. So I was like, I was like, yo, like, people, you know, I was some, I was making some of those phone calls, too, <laughs> that y'all don't know about. I don't, I try to stay low-key. I really did. But, um, you know, that y'all didn't know about some of those fucking phone calls from Joe with the people that's, like, calling him to make deals with him, trying to sign him to, you know, wherever, trying to sign him to a label. I was on the phone with Rock Nation and he was like, yo, I'm trying to, we're trying to sign X. And that was like one of the biggest deals, deal offerings that he had. So I was like, I was trying to get him on the phone and X was declining. I don't know if y'all know, y'all probably do. Like a lot of, y'all fans, y'all know everything. X didn't want to sign with nobody. <laughs> he felt like his ass was too good and that's okay. As an artist, you're definitely entitled to feel like that because if you, you don't want to be tied down to no damn record label and you got to do what you got to do for them. You want to do what you got to do for yourself. You're entitled to do that for yourself. So I can understand that. He was like, yo, I don't want to sign. But I was like, damn, it's a big ass deal, bro. I well, if I was with Rock, you know, Rock, better rock up. It's lit. I'm with the Rock, Rock Nation. But anyways, like, they were trying to offer him something. I was on the phone with Stephanie. And apparently it was like some some shit on Twitter talking about he was getting out soon. And I was like... That's crazy. I was like, because this is it's a lot of shit going on. I was like, so I don't understand how he's getting out. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? I was like, but hopefully he do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I went to all the court appearances. I was emotionally trying to support him. Me and Geneva, I really didn't talk to her because after Geneva went, you know, her separate way after her thing, she went to some, some of my, she went to one of my enemies house. I don't really have enemies in these streets, bro. I'm really nice. I'm cool with everybody. Like, I don't have any issues with anybody. But there's this one girl I got into an altercation with. And Geneva deadass went to her house. Like, and the bitch don't fuck with me. So I just, like, I didn't fuck with that. I was like, Geneva, I don't fuck with the whole fact that you went over there. And plus, Geneva DM'd me talking about, oh, I hope you didn't say shit. I hope you didn't go to the deposition. I hope you didn't do none of this. I hope, and I was like, bitch, I never went. I have all of that shit screenshotted from fucking Twitter. Like, I have the receipts. So I was just like, why, you know, like, I was like, Geneva, like, she's like, you need to just stay out of it and mind your fucking business. And I was like, but bitch, I never went to the deposition. I never fucking went. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I, you need to mind your fucking business, you know, like, period. So, um, you know, I was like, I really don't fuck with you because you went to the wrong bitch. The bitch was coming at me on Twitter, my enemy. She was coming at me on Twitter talking about, oh, I didn't know you were legally responsible for Geneva and X. Ha ha. I'm like, oh, well, ha ha what, bitch? They all 18 and older. You got me fucked up. <laughs> I ain't legally responsible for nobody. He beats fuck out of her. That's his issue. If she got her ass whooped. That's her issue, not mine. I'm just trying to get them to the fuck out of my house because this thing got shit to do with me. So that's exactly what the fuck happened. Um... You know, Geneva was coming at me, and I that's why I didn't say nothing for two, almost one and a half years. I was like, fuck that shit. I'm, I'm done. So, that's why that bitch didn't win a fucking case either, because she didn't have no evidence to prove herself. I might have had the fucking evidence, but bitch, I'm not going to give it to you if you're not fucking with me, especially if you're going to my enemy's house, and you got them coming at me, and then you're also yourself coming at me, talking about don't go to the deposition. And then even when the police came to the house, you talking about he ain't hit me. But then again, you telling me and Courtney, you want to leave. I'm like, what the fuck, bitch, you stupid. Like, y'all dumb as fuck. So I decided to leave that shit alone. X was coming at me, coming at me crazy as fuck. I'm like, what? Let me tell y'all. Fucking, we got out in March. We, I call, no, I ain't gonna even say, ain't even voted for yet. I'm on the phone with DJ Lissette. I tell X about the, the thing from Rock Nation. And I'm like, I'm like, yo, X, like. Rock Nation says you get now soon. Da da da. Oh no, I told I told um DJ Lissette that. She was like, Who told you that? I was like, I just got off the phone with Rock Nation. And she was like she was like, What you mean? 
And I was like, bruh, like, they said they want to they wanna sign X. I was like, but they said he getting out soon. She was like, who told you? And I was like, they told me. She was like, she was like, how do you know? I was like, what do you mean, how do I know? I was like, is he getting out? She was like, Sonny, I'm at the jail right now. And she sent me the fucking screenshot of her at the jail. So I was like, okay. She was like, I'm going to send you to Addie. She's like, I wanted to tell everybody. I remember this. She was like, it's yesterday. She's like, I wanted to tell everybody but you, but he asked me not to tell nobody. She's like, I didn't even want to tell, like, remember, she's like, the first person I wanted to tell was you. So I was like, I was like, what the fuck? I was like, what? Like, what you mean? He getting out. So then um, I go, I go, she sent me the location. I go to him. We meet up in Pompano. We go to his mom's house. I meet Cleo for the first time. I meet them. They're all, you know, so sweet, very nice. It's ex first time getting out of jail. So everybody's just celebrating him getting out of jail. Everybody's just emotionally trying to support him. He was like, he got out the fader. I think he had the fader with him. They were recording. They will never release this tape, though, because, like I said, I am in it, and this is real. This is the real truth. He was supposed to release the Look At Me video with the whole casket shit, and we were making ideas and all of that shit, and ex that ass switched on me from that point. The minute he got out of jail, he switched on me from that point. <laughs> like, literally, I was like, okay, like, I see how you want to play this. So when he got out, the last time I seen him is literally when he got out of jail, when I dropped him off to his mother's house. That was it. Like, that was it. Like, me, Steph, uh, Steph, fucking DJ Lissette, um, fucking, and my, I had a friend with me that drove with me at the time that was with me, so... We we all drove and we went to his mom's house and we were there. She cooked for him. It was beautiful. Like she was just like you know like I'm just so glad you're home and stuff like that. And I was like you know this is this is great. I was like what are you gonna do next? Everybody was wondering like what's next, you know. And he had like his people there trying to work with him and trying to get his image up and shit like that. Trying to work with him. So it was a sight to see. I was like damn, you know what I'm saying? X like. You really got to be focused now. He was like, yeah, I'm not on house arrest no more. Like, um, I'm on, I think he was on trial or whatever. He still had to, a court date, but he was good. Like, he could do shows and shit. That's when he started doing a revenge tour. He asked me and the person I was, well, he didn't ask the person I was with, but he asked me, he's like, Sonny, I know you be DJing now. He was like, I've been wanting you to be my DJ. I never was his DJ for y'all fucking information, bitch. Y'all so stupid. But he was like, I've been wanting you to be my DJ. He was like, but, um... He's like, I want you to be my DJ on a revenge tour and da da da. I was like, I was like, yeah. He was like, you want to come? I was like, yeah, da da. So we called. He called his homeboys and he was on Facetime everybody and it was lit. It was just lit. You know what I'm saying? She was amazing. I was so happy he was out of jail because the fuck, like, damn, it's like, get the fuck out of jail. Like, what the fuck? But I wanted him to focus. You know what I'm saying? I really wanted him to focus on his thing, even though I knew like. At the end of the day, this nigga had did some crazy shit. I still wanted him to fucking focus. But I knew this nigga was crazy. <laughs> like, I'm not stupid. Like, you got me fucked up. You beat a bitch to death, and you telling me you ain't do it, and you on on the jail phone talking about ha-ha, trying to finesse people, talk about you ain't do it? Like, what do you mean, bro? Like, what do you mean? Like, how'd you even got beat up then? Like, who beat her up then? The ghost of Christmas past, bitch? Like, no, she got beat the fuck up by you. Stop playing. So, um... You know, like, after that, that ass, like, I stopped, we stopped fucking with each other. He stopped hitting me up. No, he actually, I'm not going to lie, he did not stop hitting me up. He used to blow my fucking phone up from that point. He was like, yo, Sonny, I know you still talking to Geneva, and I don't want you talking to her, because him and Geneva wasn't cool at that point. And I was like, if you and her, they were talking on, like, Twitter or something. Like, he was, he was telling everybody he didn't hear her, and then he would reply to her, Telling y'all to leave her alone and shit like that because y'all would bash the fuck out of her, calling her a liar and shit, but the bitch was really telling the truth. So it's like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, how, how y'all doing that? Because y'all believe him, y'all dick right in him. Like, that's not fair. Like, she's a, she's a human too, bro. Like, he almost killed her. Like, nobody's on her side, but at the end of the day, Geneva don't even know what side she on because she don't know if she want to stay with him or if she want to go or if she want to cheat with the next man. She don't know what the fuck she want to do. So, I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? You know what I'm saying? So, literally, um, after that, after that, X was blowing me up. 
every now and then. He would ask me, he was like, yo, Sonny, you didn't tell nobody, right? You didn't tell nobody. And that shit got annoying because he wasn't, he never, like I said, we never chilled. He never hit me up. Like, he would always hit me up and then hang up, be like, oh, somebody calling me. Like, we stayed on the phone for, like, 10 seconds. You know what I'm saying? Like, X never, like, he was, he told DJ Lissette, he was like, oh, Sonny's annoying, this and that. But he never came and told me this shit. You know what I'm saying? But you blowing me up, calling me, asking me, did I tell anybody, did you beat the fuck out of somebody? Like, what What do you mean? Like, wh- what? So, dead ass, like, I wasn't fucking with him. Me and him got into a big ass argument right before Rolling Loud. And I was supposed to DJ at Rolling Loud. Yes, Jules was doing a DJ contest for the females, for female DJs. And I wanted to be a part of it. And I had, like, the most tags on Twitter in South Florida to do it. And I wanted him to tag me. And because that was my dog, I felt like he would tag me. But he didn't. And I wasn't I wasn't mad. But I texted him because I had been texting him before that. I was like, yo. And he was never responding. He would always read my shit but never respond. So I texted him. I was like, honestly, I was like, I feel like you're fake as fuck. I was like, because you you get out of jail and you act brand new. I was like, but nigga, you just needed me three months ago. I was like, and now you don't know how to speak? I was like, I'm not on that Fugazi shit. I was like, the fuck is this? Like, you need to get your mind right. He was like, oh, um, he was like, you just want me. He was like, you just want me for my money and my fame. I'm like, nigga, what? Are you stupid? I was like, I could have took mad videos of us in this fucking house. And, and you in my house in fucking Miami. I was like, I don't have any extra shit like that that ain't with this case, bruh. I don't have any of that shit because I tried to get this, give this man any privacy he had i tried to give him the time he needed to do what he needed to do but i couldn't because he was fucking beating geneva so i'm like what do you mean nigga like he was like yo i gave you and courtney 200 a hundred dollars i'm sorry he gave me and courtney a hundred dollars for grocery money and he was like go go grocery shopping with that first of all bitch i'm older than you and I'm feeding you. My refrigerator already full. I don't need to go grocery shopping. But because you're giving me this $100, you're not paying rent in my house. You're not helping out with anything. The least you're doing is giving me $100 for groceries. Bitch, my phone was broke at the time or some shit. And he was like, oh, I'll pay our phone bill. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, bro, like, I see you trying. I was like, but X, like, we got it. I was like, thank you for your generosity. I was like, who's going to say no to money? I was like, no, nobody. I was like, but we got it. You know, like, we straight. This nigga was just on that shit. He was like, when me and him got into it, he was like, oh, like, you just want me for my money and my clout and blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay, that's how you feel? I was like, LOL. I was like, it's funny you feel like that. I was like, but all your niggas, it's funny that you feel like that, but nobody was there for you when you needed them the most. When you was crying out help, it was only us in that fucking room, bro. I was like, it's only been us this whole time, bro. I was like, and you needed us i was like but now all of a sudden you need your niggas i was like and even when you was by yourself bruh i told you i asked them i called them i was like none of them niggas really came bruh only they came once or twice bruh it was friends here and there nobody ever came every day to come check on this nigga to come be with this nigga except his manager type shit if y'all really his fans why the fuck y'all not with him so i'm like i'm like lol they showing you some real love like that's that's funny i was like but anyways bruh be blessed you know what i'm saying i was like i ain't worried like you know, good gonna come to you no matter what. If you do good, good's gonna come to you, bruh. No matter what. I was like, God got you. Be blessed. And I blocked this nigga. So, <laughs> I don't give a fuck, bruh. You, I don't give a fuck if you... <sighs> Listen, I don't care. I ain't, I ain't got time for that. No, block. I don't want to talk because you tried me. So, skirt. Literally, um, Rolling Loud came. And I went. I didn't even DJ because, yes, Jules had got into it. I guess she had... You know, she she had did something, and it caused her to get a lot of attention in the media. And, you know, she apologized and shit for it, but she didn't follow up with the DJ thing because she was going through it, which I understand. So, it was off, but I still had tickets to Rolling Loud, so I went. X was trying to hit me up for me to come to Rolling Loud with him. That year, he took everybody with members only with him, and I was, like, not having that shit, bro. Like, I had his ass blocked. He hit me up on Twitter. I got that shit in my fucking Twitter, too. He was like, bro, like, Sonny, you blocked me. I'm trying to hit you up. I'm like, I don't want to talk. I was like, I'm sorry, but, you know, like, like, shut up. So I was like, just text me. I had unblocked him, and we texted each other. He was like, oh, I'm trying to take you to Rolling Loud. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. I'm like, I'm like, bro, like, okay, like, you know, fuck it. I was like, but I was like, I just don't appreciate the conversation. So eventually, I think that day we FaceTimed and he was like, we talked and that was it. Like I said, from that point in time, these point in times, we never like really had a relationship, me and X. 
like a friendship or none of that because we didn't call and check up on each other i would try to call and check up on him but he wouldn't answer so it was just me calling up and checking on him it was never him calling up checking on me you know what i'm saying he only did that shit because he felt it out of guilt because he knew he fucking did wrong and i was like i was trying to be there for him like i'm pretty sure the nigga felt bad like god rest his soul on some real shit i'm pretty sure he felt bad bro like i don't know how he felt but that's why he was blowing my ass up like that i had this nigga blocked that's definitely in the Twitter DMs. He was like, you blocked me. I'm like, bro, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is. Like, that shit happened. Then, um, you know, he, he it was it's people down in South Florida that I used to model for. And he's like, oh, you know, they have, they have, they have pages for, for women. They have pages that directly are for women and that you know, have a lot to do with women empowerment and shit like that. And he's like, oh, you haven't told this person that. You haven't told this person. And I'm damn near good friends with this person. So I'm like, yo, what this person got to do with it? You know what I'm saying? Like, what does this person have to do with what you telling me about? Should I question my dog? But then again, I don't want to tell my dog anything that got to to do with X situation because it's not her business. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't, it wasn't their business at the time. Like, so I'm like, fuck it. I kept my mouth shut. I ain't say shit the whole time. So... It started to get it started to get more intense because the charges started to happen in Geneva. All of a sudden, wanted to drop the case, and me and her started getting closer. And me and X started getting more distant. He wasn't fucking with me. He was telling DJ the set all these crazy all this crazy shit about me. And I was like, you know what? Like, I ain't fucking with you. I was like, you don't want out here acting crazy. You don't want doing people wrong. You don't want punching fucking fans in the face. Like, you don't want doing this crazy shit. I was like, but you you over here blowing my phone up, asking me not to say nothing for you, but. When I hit you up, I'm being annoying when I'm just checking on you. You know what I'm saying? Like, suck my dick, bro. I ain't got time for that. Like, I don't. So, ain't, I, I dead ass, like, was like, fuck it. You know? Like, I'm over it, bro. Like, I don't have time for this. So, literally, um, after that, Geneva hit me up numerous amount of times. I mean, not, well, not hit me up, but me and her were on Snapchat. Like, on Snapchat, on twitter at the time on instagram we will always say hi to each other or reply to each other's videos and stuff like that and you know i would see her like trying to fight the case and i would see the comments like the fucking comments used to kill me i would see the comments like under her pictures and stuff and how the media really like betrayed her and i was just like damn this girl really like she really just she's not going to win this case, you know what I'm saying, unless I help her. And I was like, how am I going to look as an individual if I decide not to say something, if I decide to know that this nigga really almost took her life in my house and I don't say something? I was like, it's going to make me a fucked up individual. So I was like, you know what, like, it took me so long. I got so so much advice from so many people. So many people was like, yo, shut, don't, don't say shit. Shut the fuck up, bro. Don't say shit. So many people were like, Sonny, bro, you need to say something, bro, because this is your image bro like how would it look if it was you how would it look if it was your mom or your sister or your daughter that got beat the fuck up by anybody like that you know what i'm saying like you wouldn't you wouldn't want that to happen to you so i was like i was like i feel i was like i feel you know what i'm saying like like i, I feel you know what i'm saying like, i felt for her so that ass like um me in geneva i i hit geneva up early this year early this year people i'm gonna tell y'all people started coming up to my job and not not coming up to my job like coming at me but people were shopping and they started to notice me they were like yo you're sunny for shine you be in the x videos because when x got out like i was with him when he had those few parties that he had when he had like the whole fucking riot in miami like i got all them videos which i was there doing a the whole shit like bitch, shit was lit but we was we was with each other, you know what I'm saying? So niggas was like, yo, but then he was like, yo, this is the girl, um, this is this is the girl that knows about the case. I was like, what? Like they were like, yo, aren't you Sunny for Sean? Don't you know something about the X case? Somebody came up to my job and told me that. I was like, excuse me. So then at that point, I felt like I had to get a lawyer. I was like, you know what? I need to get a lawyer because I need to be able to protect myself at all times. Like, well, another lawyer, you know what I'm saying? I was like, I need to get a lawyer on this on this case because. I've never, you know, dealt with anything like this, and I'm not sure where this is going to go. You know what I'm saying? This nigga could say anything about me. He could try to defend my name, and I have to stand up for myself. I have to make sure I'm good. I was like, so, I, you know, I'm going to just protect myself at all costs, and that's what I did. Um, 
Geneva hit me up. Me and her were talking, like I said. And I hit her up. I was like, yo, I need to talk to you. And she was like, about what? And I was like, I'm going to help you with your case. And I have, like I said, y'all, I got receipts of this too, if y'all want to know, if y'all want to see him. She was like, I want to help. I was like, I want to help you with your case. And she was like, she was like, um, she was like, she was like, oh, my God, I love you so much. And I was like, I was like, your story needs to be told. I was like, this is too much. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I'm so sorry. It had to be so long. And I was like, I have something to show you. You know what I'm saying? So I had evidence for Geneva that Geneva didn't even know about that I had to show her. I had to get them shits copyrighted because I had the fucking evidence. And I told her, I was like, I didn't, she asked me, she was like, Sonny, why would you wait two years? She was like, I just, she was like, I understand why you want to help me. And she was like, he's going to feel like he's going to, he's going to know what it feels like to be a liar. Cause that's when she changed her fucking Instagram name from bloodsucker to liar. And fucking, she's like, he's going to see what it feels like to be a liar. And it was just, it was crazy. Cause like this nigga was doing domestic violence cases. I mean, he was doing domestic violence, like. Um, events and shit at the courthouse and for a lot of, I was just like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Like, what what are you doing? And it's crazy because some of the people and members only know the truth. Most, actually, all of them know the truth. But they was telling me, they was like, yo, Sonny, you wouldn't be a bad person for telling the truth, bro. Like, it sucks that it has to be you, but you wouldn't be bad, bro, because this nigga crazy. Like, X did not fuck with them niggas and members like that. Like, he was, but at the same time, bro, he, he always, he did shit on his own, bro, and that's why he was so alone, that's why in his music, he always talks about how alone he was, because he was really alone, bro, like, nobody was really, 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 really there for him, like, they said they were, like, I don't know if him and Geneva had some shit going on, and I do truly believe that they loved each other, bro, I really believe he loved that girl, and she loved him, but that love was too much, bro, like, they had too much shit going on, so anyways, I told Geneva I was gonna help her with her case, um, early this year, that was, I could go in my fucking, I could go in my um, pictures and see when exactly I told her that. But I DM'd her and I was like, yo, um, I was like, this is, you know, this is what's happening. I was like, we about to, I'm about to help you with your case. I was like, because I don't fuck with X, bro. I was like, I'm not, I'm not fucking with this nigga, bro. I was like, on some real shit, I can't. I was like, and I, I can't see you getting bashed like this, bro. Like, this is too much. I was like, and then it's just the fact that I know. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody else know too. My, my roommate, Courtney, she, she was younger than me. She was smaller than me. And it really, it has something to do with her because we was all together in the house together. But I didn't want her to take any responsibility for it because... You know, she was, she didn't know him. Like, she didn't know him. He knew me. So it was like, it was like, damn, like, I was like, I'm sorry it has to be like this, but I gotta help you. You know what I'm saying? She was like, bruh, like, fucking thank you. So I sent her the evidence that I had, and she was like, why would you hold this for two years? And I was like, because you went to my fucking enemy house, bitch. And you told me that you wasn't fucking with me. And you told me not to even go to the deposition when I never went to the fucking deposition, bitch. And you told the police you never, this nigga never hit you. You know what I'm saying? I was like, you've been lying this whole time. I was like, so why would you want me to give you all this evidence? Why would you want me to help you when you're not even helping your fucking self? When you're not even helping me? You're not even letting me help you help you. You know what I'm saying? So that's exactly what she did. Like, G fucking shit. Like. She she chose not to let me help her during those times. And when I came to help her, there there it go. Like there go that evidence. She she got them she got them fucking pictures. I don't know if y'all know, but Geneva got them pictures. She could post them right now if she wants to. I told her not to because they're copyrighted. But she has my permission to do so. She has them pictures. She can post them. Her face was fucked up. It's pictures of her face after she got beat the fuck up. Fresh pictures that the internet has never seen definitely fresh as fuck like real nigga shit that bitch got mad i ain't i can't even call her a bitch because you know she not no bitch bro i'm just speaking in general i was saying she got pictures bro you know like she got it i was gonna help her with that shit i wasn't fucking with x x i got a lawyer and x's lawyer and my lawyer they been in cases together and my lawyer knew that basically like this was this was a rap, you know what I'm saying? This was a rap. It was a rap for bruh. Like I told him, and that even in the situation of me 
having to get a lawyer trying to defend myself, having to protect myself. I told bro, I was like, I tried to hit X up numerous amount of times, calling him. Nigga never picked up the phone, bro. He was so scared to talk to me. I don't understand. I, t- like, literally tried to call him. I'm like, X, bro, answer the phone. I was like, it's shit. I was like, you don't know about it. You need to know about But you need to answer the phone. I was like, I'm not going to text you these things so you can go post them on the internet. I'm not that. I'm not stupid, bro. I'm not. Y'all internet niggas move a certain way and they ain't on that. I was like, I'm not I'm not dumb. I was like, I need to talk to you face to face. If if we can't talk without the members trying to talk to me or through a third party shit, then we can't talk. You know what I'm saying? I was like, we we can't do this. Like, I can't do this, bro. Like I can't. So he he <laughs> never wanted to talk. The last time I talked to him, he had blue hair. Oh my gosh. Um he was on he was on FaceTime with one of the members and they was like, Yo, say what you gotta say and he went to say something, but like I said, legally, I'm pretty sure he told his lawyer the truth. But his lawyer's gonna fight for him. That's what a lawyer does. So legally, he's not allowed to speak to me. I got subpoenaed for all that information, so I'm not going to jail for no nigga. <laughs> That's number one. I'm not going to jail. And I already told them fucking assholes, do not put me in the middle of y'all drama. And that's exactly what the fuck they did. So guess what? All that information, all that evidence, that should go right out the window. I don't give a fuck what happens to y'all because y'all don't give a fuck about what happened to me. It's simple. It's just like that. So literally, I went to help Geneva just like that. I'm like, you know, let me try to help this bitch because she over here talking about she, you know, he beat me and then she don't have no evidence and everybody calling her a liar. So she getting so much. The heat was really on her, bro. The girl closed the case because of that, like, because the heat was on her. You know what I'm saying? So literally, like, she couldn't, she couldn't handle it. And she didn't have the evidence that I had because I wasn't giving that shit up to her because she wasn't fucking with me. And I definitely wasn't fucking with her. I wasn't fucking with their ass, period. So there, there y'all have it. That's the whole truth right there, bro. He he did beat the fuck out that girl. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. I know the truth. Geneva know the truth. His mama know the truth. She told Geneva, you need to be quiet like a real woman should. Period. Like, come on, man. Come on. What woman does that, bro? And ain't trying to bash her, but damn, bro. Like, that's the woman, bro. What if it was you? What if it was you? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't condone no no man hitting no woman. I don't condone fighting. I don't. I don't like fighting, bro. Like, all that energy. That's why I ain't saying shit to none of y'all people. I'm not arguing with y'all fans. I'm not doing that because that's a waste of energy. Y'all are wasting y'all time and y'all energy. If y'all want to know, y'all need to do y'all research. Of course, y'all fans want to know. And, of course, it's people who are never going to say anything. But I'm sorry. I'm 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 pretty right or die, bro, in the situation. But with this situation, bro, I couldn't, bro. I couldn't ride for that nigga no more. He he wasn't riding for me, bro. He wasn't even riding for himself. He was riding himself out every day. That say was lonely, bro. He was alone. I felt for him, bro. I prayed for him, bro. Pray for that man every day, bro, just to make sure he was straight, make sure his mind was straight. That man was dark, bro. That nigga had a lot of secrets to himself, bro. That y'all didn't even fucking know about. Y'all here talking about, we know him, we love him, praise him. Of course, it's live long, just say, bro. Any of my friends that ever die, bro, it's live long then, bro. I don't want to see any of my friends die. Especially the way he went out, bro. Getting robbed like that. Like, that's not cool. But I'm not going to say he, he wasn't no damn saint. He he wasn't doing the best shit. He was trying to work on his life. I see that. But hell, if you was calling me every day and also trying to work on your life, it doesn't that doesn't that doesn't add up. You can't be calling me every day and then you out here doing going on Twitter talking about be positive. Like you cannot be calling me talking about Sunny. Don't say anything about the case and you're not doing shit for me. You're not even answering my fucking phone calls. You're not even you're not doing shit, bro. Like not a fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? Like get the fuck out of here. Like, move. I'm not here for that. I'm, I wasn't here for that. And I felt bad because I felt like I should have said something from the, from the get-go. But then again, I got my parents telling me, stay the fuck out of it. I got my friends and my other family, you know, everybody, stay the fuck out of it, stay the fuck out of it. Then I got members telling me, yo, you need to say something. Then they telling me not to say something. It's like, yo, who do you, it, it, it depends on you. It depends on what you want to do at the end of the day. And I decided not to say something for two fucking years. I didn't release no video. I didn't release no fucking image. I didn't release shit until after he... The only thing I released is those pictures after he died and I fucking deleted them. Because, yeah, it was very time sensitive and I understand that. But like I said, if you do bad, bad's gonna come to you, bruh. 
I'm not gonna say he deserved to die, bro. No, that nigga definitely did not deserve to die, bro. Like that, definitely did not, bro. I like that is that was when I seen the video, I almost fainted at work, bro. Like G, all my people showing me videos is everybody blowing up my my phone store, my yeah my, my store phone, and I'm just like, bro, like what? I gotta look at this video and I gotta see my dog Gray in the video. You think I wanna see that, bro? So y'all can say what y'all want to say, bro. At the end of the day, I loved him, bro. I texted his mother the day he died, bro. The day he died. You think I I wanted to do that, bro? After knowing the type of, I don't even know her, bro. But just knowing that she know whatever she know. You know what I'm saying? Like in my right mind, if I have a son, bro, and this is me, this is my opinion. If I have a son, bro, and he beating on somebody to death, oh hell no, nah, bro. I didn't, I didn't birth the demon. It's time for. Me. I'm done. But yeah, like, if I did that, bro, like, if I had anything like that, I would have definitely did something different with my son. You know what I'm saying? And see, each is own, bro. See, each is own. Like, everybody's different. I'm not going to judge her on how she raised her son or how anything. But Jose was looking for his mom. He was looking for her. He wanted to He wanted to be with her, bro. Like, he needed his mom. And I wasn't, I'm not his mom. I couldn't do everything she could do for him. I can't do none of that. So, I'm, I'm, you know, like, I'm just done with the situation. I wish the, I wish the best for everybody. Like, I'm, I'm so emotionally sorry for everything that's happened. Like, this is, it's a terrible tragedy, bro. Like, I'm in a loss for words still. Like, I, I could barely play his music and then, you know, it started, to, like, this shit is just so crazy, bro. Like, I found myself just, you know, humming his song sometimes, like, Cause that was at the end of the day, bro. The, the man, like I fed this nigga, bro. Like I clothed this nigga, bro. I gave this nigga clothes, bro. Like he used my, like this nigga. I gave him my toothpaste, gave him fucking tissue, bro. Anything he needed, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like at the end of the day, bro. He, he was took off this earth, bro. From 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 somebody that he wasn't supposed to be taken off this earth from. And I don't appreciate none of that shit. I don't appreciate the fact that he beat the fuck out of Geneva like that either. I don't appreciate the fact that. We didn't have the best relationship in that. We definitely could have worked on it. I tried to work on shit with X. All his his family, his friends know what type of person he is, bro. Or he was, you know? He was trying to change his life. Y'all y'all can say that. That's fine. I guess he was trying to change his life. I seen him in the media trying to do good things. I seen it. I'm not going to lie. I, got, I give him his credit. I definitely seen it, you know? But at the same time, you calling me those same days you in the media and you telling me son you don't say shit you need to fall out the face of the earth because geneva just dropped her statement to i think she dropped it to pitchfork too i think geneva dropped her statement to pitchfork that time and she told she told her side of the story and he called me that day he was like yo everybody's gonna be on your ass so fall out the face of the earth i'm like what i'm like you got me fucked up then i went to california i was like i'm going to california and i was planning on moving to cali I had stayed over there for a little while. So I was like, you know what, bitch, I'm out. He was like, yeah, good, stay in college. college. I'm like, you know, I might just stay in college. <laughs> Shit, I, I just might. So literally, like, you know, like I said, it's a very sad situation. I'm done with this story. I'm very done. You know, Pitchfork, they, they just emailed me two, three days ago. And they were like, um, they emailed me this, this, reporter or whatever editor i don't know he emailed me talking about hey sonny i've been trying to email you numerous amount of times he dm me this on twitter i can screenshot this too he was like oh i've been trying to dm you or email you we're gonna drop the the audio um we wanted to ask you some questions i was like bro i'm not talking if i'm not getting paid to talk about this shit bro you know what i'm saying i told him that shit too he the first person i told that the first person i told was pitchfork was that I'm not talking if I'm not getting paid. Y'all think I got paid to drop the shit? I didn't even drop it. They dropped the shit. They pulled it from public record because once once some evidence on a case is closed, it's public record. So he fucking literally, like, they took it from the police. They literally have to ask for it from the prosecutors or from the police or whoever or from the media, and they get it. They pay for it. Any, any media could do that, and that's exactly what they did. They got it, and they took out parts. They literally muted the other parts, and they only put Jose part in it. And that's what happened. I didn't know about it until I got off of work. I told y'all I, I read the whole article, and then I listened to it. But I ain't have to, because, nigga, I know what the fucking audio says. And, you know, that happened. 
And then all of a sudden, this Dom is live nigga trying to DM me talking about, I want to have a conversation with you. My answer, period, no matter what the conversation is about, if it ain't talking money, I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk to you, Dom. You bashed my name. And you had everybody send whatever the fuck over here to my page. Like, who are you to do that to me? You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't know me. You don't. You trying to, you know, like, literally throw salt on my name, bro. You don't know what I've been through. You don't even know me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you've never met me a day in your life. You want to know so much about a situation, you didn't even reply. If you want to know so much, instead of making a video, you could have double replied if you're that thirsty. But I guess, you know, LOL. So, anyways, I'm done with this whole situation. Y'all can say what y'all want to say. Um, I know all these videos and everything is being recorded. I'm not fucking stupid. So, it's going to be plastered everywhere. I'm not dumb. Y'all can go ahead and take this and do whatever, but this is the truth. <laughs> People can make their comments on it. Whoever else can say whatever they got to say. This is going to this is gonna be whatever y'all want it to be. But at the end of the day, it's rest in peace to bruh. He didn't deserve to die like that. But at the end of the day, he did beat the fuck out of her. He beat the living shit out of her. And she knows that. Everybody fucking knows that. Everybody who is in the house, they know it. All his real friends, the people who know, know. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. It's just like that. But that is the fucking truth. And I'm done.